There we go. Good evening. Mm. Uh, yeah. Welcome, Evan, and welcome back, buddy. Uh, so uh, we are diving in for at the end of a very hectic week, day, chaos for me. <laughs> uh, we, we planned this, uh, so we're going to go ahead. So hopefully nothing else in my day goes wrong. I don't end up uh, having to disappear. But yeah, we're doing uh, a little look at the uh, all the factions of War Machine Hordes and where we think they they all currently sit. So um, obviously there's a new one on the horizon, um, but let's like it's not kill ourselves. We know like next to nothing about them. <laughs> they could be. They could be. Any, yeah, yeah. Any. Uh, Orgoth could be anything. Let's yeah. let's not get carried away there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so quickly, very much uh, hello. I've been playing uh, War Machine since Mark Two. So I'm Dan. I play uh, for the Welsh team for WTC. I'm on the committee for them, uh, and I'm uh, regular at. Um, uh, club up in the north east of England I guess north east Midlands or on the, the north um, where where we've got like, like sort of a, a staple matter of about 10 to 20 players and turn up um, so we normally book out most of the sales at our, our local club which is cool and uh, I'm currently playing Grimkin but I do also play uh, Aurora I play Convergence slash Mercs but yeah it's Aurora <laughs> uh, that's where I am <laughs> Uh, so I've just uh, just yeah, swapped back to Grimkin. Um, I played Grimkin at the last WTC, so like two years ago now. And uh, and uh, yeah, that's like just a quick summary, a bit of idea. Uh, I've played I played Legion. I played games and like Steamrollers with Kador, with um, Mercs, Cricks, um, Menoth. Uh, we've run different um, interesting skews on um, Steamrollers where we've chosen different factions well, we've been allocated factions we don't normally play to better learn them and like better understand the matchups against our stuff which is kind of cool <laughs> one of the things the welsh team did uh, as prep the last couple of years and uh yeah and this is we're joined by evan so evan give us a quick yeah. give us the quick okay rundown, quick rundown yeah, of my, we'll at my what's, what's what sure my it's a rather spotty war machine pedigree so <laughs> I started up in early Mark II, just after the field test. Um, so this is back in South Africa, where I was a blissfully big fish in a very small pond. Um, and I, I play way too, way too many factions. So I started off with Legion, um, which I have never worked out how to play. I'm an awful Legion player. But you're still trying, um, though. But I'm still trying. They're still my. They're still just so much fun. I yeah, mean, they're, they're my first it, faction, it, Legion. They're my fa they're my favorite minis, and the minis are you know what always drives me to tabletop. And bad. I mean, it, it, the Angelius basically. Like I I looked at the models and I said, "Ooh, look at that! It's a flying snake shark." <laughs> there is no part of that description that has not sold me on the game. I do, I do love the <laughs> like, right. Right there, like <laughs> that was a win. Oh look, Typhon's a Hydra. Excellent. Like it, it was, yeah. Legion just dragged me in immediately. It takes, it takes so, yeah, and then I picked up Cricks because I actually wanted to start winning a game, um, and I I was that guy that was spamming Denny to the entirety of Mark II, <laughs> um, except when I went went to my uh, next love, which was Scar Scar Two, and the Coven. So that those were, you know, really my uh, the heart of me. I, I never played that weird theme list of Denny twos. Um, as I say, we had a small meta and we didn't yeah. really kind of follow the bleeding edge of the meta. Um, but yeah, I, I did a lot better with Crix. Crix was great. Crix was great for me, um, and it's still a point. <laughs> yeah, and as, as I'm sure we'll get on to later, it's a, it's a bit of a sore spot for me that Crix is in a fairly, I still think, in a fairly poor place right now. Um, so then we've got Crix. Yeah. And then at the end of Mark II, I picked up Circle. I just felt like teleporting Druid shenanigans, so that was very poor timing. <laughs> um, but again, I, you know, it's, it's hippies and werewolves, and it, that really is a nice change from the dragons and the dead shambling yeah, things I was enjoying in Crix. Yeah. Which was good. Um, and then I got suckered in because Grimkin came out and I said, Oh, look, funky fairy tale people. That's fantastic. Fairy tales are, you know, are great, creepy fairy tales. I love the aesthetic. 
I can't really keep up with painting three, uh, four factions, but you know what? It's a limited faction. It's going to be released once and never, never do I have to paint anything again. Yeah. And boy, have I eaten those words. <laughs> but good. But Grimkin are amazing. They're one of the most fun factions in the game. I absolutely adore them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean. Um, and then, lastly, I p and then Infernals came out, and going back to way when I started playing tabletop games, this was back in my fantasy days, I asked my mate one question and one question only. I said, do they have demons? <laughs> and, and he started giving me this whole long-winded explanation of, this is Warhammer days, of chaos, and chaos can someone's like, no, 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 stop, stop. Yes or no question? Demons? <laughs> yes, no. Demons. And and after me being incredibly rude to him, he said yes, and I bought my and I sent out an order for my first toys. Fair, fair. So and that's, and that's so you... when that so when Infer so yeah when Infernals came out, like I tried to resist, but I just couldn't. <laughs> just so, so I was I was the opposite around. So um, I was re all ready for Infernals, and I had I'd saved up like a little got like a little separate like nerd bank. <laughs> so I had my money ready and. WTC was approaching. Uh, I played. I played. I basically printed off um, or laser cut rather mm. um, about I don't know like 200 proxy bases with like the names and arcs of everything, so I could do whatever. Um, and I played. I don't know like, like 20, 30 games uh, like during CID for Infernals. Um, oh yeah. And then as the the release dates started to like look uh, sort of pan out in front of us. Uh, it looked like there was going to be very, very limited field to play them at WC, and that was the plan. And mm. I, I, I like hundred percent got frustrated, lost my shit, and spent all the money <laughs> on buying the entire Grimkin faction instead, apart from piggybacks, <laughs> apart from piggybacks, I mean, hot, um, uh, pumpkins, and witchwoods. I have what, what two I fully painted units of each of those. If you ever want to borrow your more than I need, I need to get my iron at some point. But yeah, so that's so I went the opposite way around. I uh, I flip flopped away. Just did a oh my god, I can't play them. Quick jump on a faction that I fancy that is str still yeah. strong. And yeah, so and uh, yeah, I, I was super enjoyed. So, and I forgot I played um, Retribution as well. Uh, I took Retribution to my second WTC. Uh, oh wow! When the, when the local guys sold yeah. me his reps at the very end of Mark Two. I bought them like two days before, like oh, the, God. the vets got spoiled or something, and it, it turned out right. Yeah, you know, it was definitely ah, dirty, yeah. dirty knife ears. It was good. <laughs> so, so that's that's us. And, uh, um, looking at, yeah, at, and uh, I, uh, and I'm playing in the oh yeah, so, and I play regularly in the London meta. Yeah. Um, come up every now and then i i came up for the recent sh um sherwoods as we chatted about last yeah. week yeah, you know, um and i'm gonna up. i'm gonna try to keep doing that because that was fantastic yeah, that course, yeah. um and then yeah so it's your, usually around london brighton and i've been representing south africa in the vtc which has been great fun yeah. and and that's awesome news of all this week so um so fish court have announced that they yeah. are, are going ahead with the uh, vtc in february March, we've 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 already sometime. yeah we've picked we've picked out our captain and we are we're hunting around for our mem for our team right now. Ah, cool. Are you <laughs> are you sticking with um, South Africans or are you or are you looking at? Uh, as long as South them? Africa's fielding a team, I'll play with them with hundred uh, hundred percent. Yeah, I think Jan's unfortunately out this year because yeah, um, he's busy, traveling. Busy breaking his foot uh, skateboarding. <laughs> That too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all the South Africans that uh, I've had anything to do with for War Machine have been amazing. As I say for War Machine, I know I know only a couple yeah. outside of War Machine. Uh, one through WoW and snowboarding, and the, <laughs> the other one from snowboarding oh, and good fun. diving. So yeah, awesome guys. So the tier list. So we've got S right. through D. So um, I think this is going to be like a little bit of a quick discussion about what we think. Is, uh, yes. is what it represents, and then that might become. So, so, might be so everyone who, <laughs> so everyone who does one of these goes through a whole long waffle of you know, is it about what the power casters are, or should we cater to you know cater to the wider audience? Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're both looking at this from a competitive standpoint. I think so. Yeah. So, 
you know, even though Scorn only really has three casters from a competitive standpoint, um, I'm yes. not downgrading them for that. Yes. Like, okay, fine. What is Zol, Hex? What is Zol, uh, Fat Man, and I think Makeda three right now? You know, what do they bring to the table? Um, um, and the fact that it's only three of them doesn't really matter. Is my yeah, take. I don't know how you feel on that. Yeah, I think so. And then there's always then uh, the option to revisit this to do just a generic. Um, this is where we think factions are as a whole if you're getting into the game. So we could do a competitive one now uh, and then we can uh, yeah. maybe have a look again in, uh, in a couple that, of weeks' time. That would be really and, interesting. This would be interesting for yeah. maybe like, and then and then review that with things like power levels, but also like accessibility. So you, know, you, you don't want to get into, for instance, um, Infernals or or maybe Mercs if you don't have deep pockets for uh, for what you're going to be buying into. Yeah, um, stuff like that. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, if we if we look at look at it as a, a bit more of a competitive standpoint here, um, and or rather just like the top tier of within the faction, right? So let's we won't look at the the casters who perhaps are like dark horses or, or very but, underwhelming. But we'll, we'll look at like what what the best the faction brings and where. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll look at we'll look at the fa- the casters that really sort of define the faction at the yeah, moment the, in the, the competitive shine, scene, yeah. um, and then you know maybe one or two sort of. Not quite dark horse, but you know, good uh, kind of outside clutch casters absolutely, that maybe absolutely. cover a weakness or two. Yeah. Um, so I would say that S is obviously going to be the most simple thing. So let's just be very brief, I guess. S is going to be like the, yeah. the top notch, the, the very pinnacle. Yeah. And then the, these are the these are the guys to beat. Yep. And then they a... they have very few of any bad matchups. Yep. And they can always make a competitive pairing. There's yeah. nothing in the meta where they say, I have to leave myself open to something. To something or other, yeah. And then A, I would say, would be uh, very much the the next the next front runners for those spots. So those that have yeah. got, got very good options into into what's strong. Um, and then we'll just downgrade as we go. You know, we're having to go into too much DL. You know, B has less options. Yeah. Down to D. That, that really, I, that really I, I would say... With, so. I would say A maybe has to leave an opening for one list. B yeah. B probably has to have almost a dodge faction. Yeah, uh, yeah. C and D might have to dodge multiple multiple lists. Yeah, or just, just well, that too, would be C. Too, too far and behind. D is just really yeah. yeah. D is just really. <laughs> when's the last time you saw these poor guys played? <laughs> I think uh, my my predictions before we start is I think War Machine as it is now, or War Machine Hordes. Is, is in such a tighter position than it ever was in like Mark II. I think that gap between S and B, for instance, so I, is, I, is close. I'm a, so I'm a lot less kind of flattering about it. I'll say for our exercise today, hmm. you're correct. Um, I think War Machine and Hordes is in a is not in a fantastic spot in terms of um, how many casters are viable in each faction. Possibly. I think that I think that used to be a lot better, but how many factions are viable? I agree with you. I think it's in a fantastic space. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, we're gonna do this in in uh, privacy press order. So uh, the, the great Very order cool. that that uh, Warham gives us. So we start with the uh, the swans, the uh, the poster boys, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> For uh, so the. So who do you think defines p- the, defines the swans right now? I'm still I'm still dubious on this. So, um, I mean, Storm Division just came out, so Nemo Three is obviously a contender. He did. He, he, he the, was he was so strong when he was at his strength. When but, he was released, yeah. So uh, he got he got turned down not by any nerfs or even anyone getting stronger. I think it's just but the way by, things changed around him. No. It was when Steamroller got changed that ah, yeah. insisted on having line of sight blocking terrain in the middle of the board. Yeah, that's not not made a huge him. difference to <laughs> knocking him off his pedestal. So I'm, I'm putting him down as B just to be on the table in front of us, by the way. So anyone that's watching, I mean, I'm not okay, saying B. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we can move. We'll, so we'll... I would say I'd say Nemo three. Is Haley three still something that's that's a big so deal? I think Haley two, Haley three. Sloan and Siege are probably the four. I haven't, I haven't seen Sloan in a long time. Oh, I haven't. I'm terrified every time I do. Really? Yeah. I mean, Sloan, Sloan sort of got knocked out of circulation that I recall almost two years ago with just 
the year of our lord the year of our lord shield guard there's, there's a lot more shield uh, guards out there yeah um I, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it slow down a bit since shooting has been, you know, badly hurt, and all the all yeah. the shooting that matters is now sprays. Yeah, and, and um, but that, yeah, people are, less people are taking shield guards. So there's there's some lists that they'll, they'll have tons, right? So you, you'll always I, see. I like would I would put Sloan. Yeah, <laughs> but, I'd uh, I'd consider Sloan a dark horse. I would not like maybe a maybe a bit of a scare list. I wouldn't consider her. Kind of oh, Matt's, emblematic. Matt saying, Matt saying striker one, Matt Bowen. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, striker one is is definitely a, a contender as well. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. This, it's hey, even, even striker one. Uh, actually, striker like, one. I think striker two wow, is dark horse slash year. It's, but it's striker a bit more one. Throw. What? What's it? S O T B. I can't remember what the acronym is even for now. Sons, Sons uh, of the Tempest. I think. I think striker. Um, uh, sorry, not sorry, not Sons of the Tempest. The uh, the Merc theme. Uh, flames. The P. Yeah. Uh, flames. what was the one being played with the P? With all the PK knights and the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Fl- fl- flames in darkness. So, flames in the darkness. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of striker with like a blockader. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, striker with a blockader and like so, Legion of Lost Souls or Precursor Knights. Um, I mean, between the between the Void Archon and especially the. Um... What's it called? The Death Archon now. I haven't yeah. seen anyone kind of punting that anymore. I think that's been knocked out of the meta. I think it has, but like, I'm not sure Strikers' Flames list were ever very, very infantry heavy. But it was just like, you take Striker, you take um, a Journeyman, and you've got two lots of RK I, I re- shield on like... Your, yeah, I remember seeing from. two loads of full, full-size infantry in most of them, sometimes yeah, three. Fair. Um, you know the, the third being Alexia and friends. Yes, yeah. But um, as as far as like the rest of them, yeah, I think Haley Haley two obviously ju- only just yeah. had uh, a nerf. Yeah. Um, but it's not like a huge nerf. It, it's like it just means that she needs to be a bit more careful playing against Colossals. And... Yeah. Look, I mean, she wasn't she was an answer to Colossals and Gargantuans, so yeah, it no, is a big no. nerf. <laughs> But they've also, I, I'm not prepared to rule her out yet, because in that nerf, they actually promised that they'd address her. Yes, yes, we'll see. Yeah, Matt, Matt so in the chat they called saying, her out specifically. Matt in the chat saying, yeah, the the uh, the striker one list you'd expect would be like a blockader, double Thalmite Archons, uh, Precursor Knights, Malvin and Mayhem, and then I guess... Oh, the cards. It's like oh, a, Malvin, a yeah. Lot, a lot of beef. <laughs> and, yeah, that, that's not too bad. So Okay, so striker one... I I don't think Striker One asks any questions that the meta can't answer anymore. Like getting getting know. damage numbers yes. up to up into the stratosphere mm. is almost trivial for anyone that uh, for anyone that matters right now. So I I'm not the only person who doesn't get those damage numbers through the roof is Kruger. <laughs> Good, but that's a, that's a really good answer then. I mean, that's the big one. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you can stick like, yeah, here, an armor twenty five, yeah, twenty six. I, I, I suppose maybe you can take him as your Kruger. You can take uh, you can take Striker one as your Kruger drop, yeah. and then. But that's, that's just that's hopefully just hopefully force him to drop Wormwood or whoever. I think um, <laughs> I think out of the Haley's as well. Uh, yeah, even though uh, armor twenty seven. There we go. Armor twenty seven blockader. See that is yeah. That's a problem. That is a problem. And you can have two. I killed. I killed that with one tormentor at the last torment at the last <laughs> event. <laughs> Not everyone can roll that good. That's the problem. Um, you don't even. You, you don't have to roll. But the, yeah, the infernals have too many answers. But that's many. another story. Um, but then we've got like the Haley. Yeah. So Haley two obviously has been a little bit in flux. Haley three, I think, has is just good, just flat good. She's like. Mm. A top level caster, but does does the stuff that she wants to play? I think is struggling at the moment. Like she, you know, yeah, the, the she she wants to be more infantry heavy, and it's not a good spot I for mean, her uh, infantry heavy right now. Her her best play is always as assassination, and I mean, there's a lot of immunity to knock down, and a lot of your top players just don't give you that out. Yeah. And obviously, you've only got a very limited amount of options in Signar here. Yeah. You, if, if Thorn is on the table, it's easy to see it come in. Yeah, I think your I think your initial placement as B is right. I think they I think they are 
the moderate answers to the big predators, but not fantastic. Yeah. Um, um and and they go they're going to leave holes. Like if you take striker as a big liability against a lot of lists in the meta, yeah. that just can easily chew through your armor. Um, but you need, but especially now that Haley's two's been nerfed, that's your answer to Kruger two. So now what are you going to do? Yeah. And uh, Nemo is just not the question he used to be. I think it's a generous B as well. So I'm not sure like they're at the top of B. It might I be. Think they're probably like yeah somewhere down here. If if B becomes particularly populated. So yes, we'll, we'll, I'll, yeah. I'll agree with you there. I'll agree that the, the, Lo the, loosely hold, loosely, loosely holding onto loosely a B. Holding um, so next is Menoth. Um, Menoth. So oh, I, I'm going to put them in at A to start with. So okay, and I think their their pool of casters has been really small. That's been played competitively. Like it's um, very Har small. Harvey Harvey Sirenia has been like. Like yeah, near, near so Sirenia has really taken over from Harby, which yeah. is always interesting. I think Sirenia um, is absolute ball bustingly good. I think she's she awesome. is so good. Um, she doesn't look that good on paper, and all you have to do is play into her once when she's piloted by someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. All you have to and do is holy crap! Is watch an avatar behind a, an untouchable avatar oh. lock down your entire like front line of heavies while they just pick off. It everyone. is, and it's like I mean, it's, I mean, I have to give her credit because Sarini is doing exactly what Menoth has, you know, always advertised. Yeah. We are the faction that says no. Says no yeah. And that's exactly what she does. But, but the problem is when it's like saying no to can I land in combat with your Judicator or your avatar before they eat my entire army. It's my <laughs> avatar. And my avatar's getting getting all these bonuses yeah. to defense because you're yeah. striking over a wall and it's got the feet. And if you're living, you've also got the stupid arc on there. Like, and you're, you're it just to have, stacks. You're likely to have all the shield guards you need for stuff that did does actually hit it um, and then if you kill oh. the shield guard you just make the avatar angry and it hits even harder when it comes at you <laughs> and then like... you've got the initiates which are some of the few single wound infantry that still matter in the game now they're in a good place that yeah. or at least sarini is in a good place herrings um, krios 3 or maybe just play or maybe just play the kador theme and just play kador as your parent i think yeah i think that's that's quite a popular thing i think Harby, Sirenia are the, the two power plays, and then Vlad, uh, Vlad three, in um, I mean a really yeah, is, is really good I, still. Um, I would I put that as I would put that as the pairing to peg it against as Vlad three warriors. Yeah. Uh, and I think there's some or or even even uh, oh yeah you can't okay it's, you can't play Vlad two doomies that no. you still have to be Kado <laughs> for that yeah. yeah. I think as well, there's, okay. there's, there's other casters that have started to really show up again as well. So like the Sevi, Sevi one list has started to to show up because of like meta questions and stuff. And, yeah. Um, how how does that Sarenia play into Aurora? Um, pretty well because it's it's like um, there's there's not a great amount of of map fixes or rat fixes unless you can land like a paralysis um, or if you battle. Yeah. And if you've basically got well, you're not going to get guys, paralysis against yeah, and, uh, against the warjacks. Yeah, and uh, you've got if, if you've got um, your tessellators are just going to bounce off anything because you just you just chain it away from, for instance, avatar with your with your load of um, initiates, and yeah, tessellators even under feet aren't going to do a lot of damage because they're like their their base damage is is pretty low, and when you when you're racked up against. Um, initiates all in base to base. You're basically be scraping their armor and hoping, hoping not to. By that, that point, hoping not to kill them, so you make the jacks angry. Um, <laughs> yes. And obviously, they can use because one, one ever because one avatar will inevitably roll four focus because he always yeah. does, and he'll kill three heavies just because why not? Yeah, yeah. Um, and Morgan, yeah, I think I'm exaggerating, but not by enough. Men of very much still are like a, a denial faction. Um, that will yeah. just relentlessly come towards you and say, "No, you can't do that. I'm coming. No, you can't do that. I'm coming." And, and, yeah, and with, with and something still... like Aurora, you can. You've obviously got um, the options of rock walls, and you've got the options of just sticking 
sticking your, what, your living bodies in front the, of where you're With the running. oppressive power of what Legion can bring nowadays, mm. I'm surprised we're not seeing more um, Harby coming back. Yeah, possibly. Because Le Legion's, you know, the big Trump Legion got was the Blight Archon giving out um, this Dragon's Blood, so yeah. giving out an armor buff. And it suddenly meant Legion's allergy to guns and basically being hit first kind of lessened so yeah. much. So Harby with a 20-inch bloody um, purification, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's I think scary. there's a lot. I think there's a lot of uh, potential for Harby to come back into the meta. Yeah, and uh, obviously if, if you're, you know, if you're reliant on your Death Archons winning a game for you, um, like. Death Archons can't stop you being martyred. And like, Harley yeah. can sit at the back and go, I'll space these guys out. They're just going to block landing spaces. Can you get past yeah, them? Yeah, you just have to make, you just have to not feed them your, um, I can't remember what they called the, the, um, Idrians. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. don't feed, just don't feed the or, Death or, Archons or, your Idrians. Or you tech the list. And otherwise, the. Yeah, or you tech, it, tech your list to not take the Idrians. So you've basically got like your, your block of more durable infantry. And then you essentially yeah. just don't martyr the ones you don't, want to trigger. Idri Idrians have CRA, don't they? They do. Like yeah, that's, yeah. I, yeah, you can take one unit to scare to scare a death yeah, archon or two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely think yeah they're in a, a really a really solid space, and they they have been for ages. Like I don't yeah. think I think they've been an A tier faction for a long time. Yeah, the, I, the I don't think they're in. I don't think they're an apex predator. I wouldn't put them as S. Yeah. Um, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to downgrade them from A. They're really strong. Yeah, I think they're yeah very very sort of top end of A as well. Yeah, they're gonna yeah gonna be give, giving issues to people and also being able to just face mm. face the majority of things. Some things they don't want to see is Harvey never wants to see a lot of cockatrices. And I suppose there's more sprays in the game than there was, so that's like got that's sort of something to affect it. But generally speaking, yeah, I think I think A is uh, A is where they are. I think they're comfortable in A as well. So, we move on. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Kador next. Kador. Oh, man. I want to love Kador. I look at them and I still think they have the deepest bench of casters that are viable yeah. in the game. But somehow it just never clicks. All right. So <laughs> I'm, 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 going, I'm reaching for A for Kador. Uh, I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to say top of B. Oh, maybe. Like, so yeah. My, so my, my reasoning, if I, if I reason you for A, and then sure, you try and reason me down to B. And we'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll see where we go. Okay. So, so, think... so let's. So which are the casters that you would put up for Kador? Vlad two Doom Reavers. Definitely. Still very very strong. Um, yep. Uh, Vlad three in War is the Old Faith. Really really solid list as well um, they ask very similar questions i don't know if i'd put them in I, um, i've seen them in a pairing but i don't know if that's yeah, i think they're different enough like the the warriors is a lot more durable and a lot more like um, yeah sort of solo -y based um okay it's a lot more resilient you're yeah. right um and then i'd probably put Old Witch, potentially. Old Witch 2. Old Witch um, 2, yeah, I was but, thinking but that. Old, Old Witch 2 or Vlad 2 are basically your Doom, your Doom Reaver list. And then your, your yeah. second list is either something like Warriors of the Old Faith with Vlad 3, or or I, I quite even, like Zakova yeah. 2 or Zakova 1. Um, I, I, I was yeah, about to say Zerx 1. Zerx 2, I think, is a gimmick. We'll catch people I out every now and then, I but she's a gimmick. a terrifying gimmick still. So, so we, <laughs> we talked about this last week. Um, I lost three yeah. in in a, in, a, <laughs> in turn two to in a, the last God, that's horrible. Played. It was just like... That is horrible. So two two lots of ponies, a bunch of Tyrians. Yeah. And, and I, in hindsight, like I could have protected myself from a bunch of that. Um Mm. But I still think she's uh, she's she's strong. But yeah, Zakova one I, I, though is is very much uh, an all comers. Zerx one is yeah a much better all comers, yeah. and I feel like she should be, or at least has a strong argument for 
a place in most pairings. Yeah. Not as your primary list, but as your off list. Yeah, be able because to shut she's down such... so many different elements of what your enemy's going to. She has so yeah, many so answers. Have... She has so... so many good answers. Yeah, so no, no charging if you're a horrific melee list. No shooting if you're a horrific gun list. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good options in Kado, I think. Uh, yeah. And then obviously Doom Reavers with uh, either either Vlad or Witch. Pick your flavor of, of who either protects them yeah, or, or pick or one. Them up. I think Vlad does a better job of it. Um, or at least in a world that involves Infernals, Vlad 2 is your obvious go-to. Oh, go yes, to. yes, yes, definitely. Um, I think probably with, with uh, against Grimkin as well. It's pretty... Uh... Uh, I'll be honest, I don't feel like it's worth building for Grimkin. <laughs> no. I, I mean, we'll, we'll get to them shortly. I love my Grimkin. Yeah. But I think I'd struggle to put them at uh, above B, and frankly, I'll, pro I'll be arguing for C. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you, so I'm thinking mid B, uh, sorry, mid A for Kador. But you're thinking top of B instead. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking either top of B, bottom of A. And here's my thing about Kador. Yeah. I don't think they ever, I, well, very rarely do they actually force you to make a choice at list uh, at list picking. Mm. The closest they've got is Vlad II, yeah. who does, who maybe makes you say, "Well, I'm playing a cloud-based game. Vlad II kills my clouds," yeah. um, or I, you know, I'm trying to brick up, and from 15 inches away, Doom Reavers are hitting all my, you know, are oh, my smashing my instead. bricks with, with God knows what power strength. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah, it's few and far between that. There aren't that many things that <clears throat> I really look at Kado and say, what can't I play into? So it's more, what do I feel like mm -hmm. playing now and what can make a harder matchup for the other guy? Y okay. You don't ever, I, I don't feel I'm forced into a pick and that that's what downgrades him a little bit for me. Okay, yeah, you know, I, I, I accept like... that, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say, yeah, then yeah. I'll, I'll agree we'll do, we'll put them at top of B yeah. for now. Uh, we'll see, uh, yeah. How, yeah, we'll how obviously reevaluate we'll when we'll we see... There's, there's kind of like, take a look and say, yeah, <laughs> when we take obviously... a look and say, really, <laughs> Signa and Kador together, <laughs> <Yeah>. really, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and there's things up coming, obviously. Um, Death Chev, Karchev, Death Jack Two is coming up for the end. Uh, Death, Death Chev's going to make a big difference, hey? There's, that's going to be big. Yeah. Armor Twenty Seven de uh, Devastators are a real thing. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be uh, <laughs> interesting to see. <laughs> cool. That's horrifying. <laughs> Right, so yeah, so I'm uh, I'm accepting the the B for them. So uh, yeah, let's go on to well, what well, one of, one of your last one of your past loves. So Crix, so Crix, Crix was, was so I so good. want to love Crix. They were so Crix. good. So oh, good. how the Marty have fallen! Oh my God. Okay, so before to stop me going on an endless rant, let's pick a couple casters that actually typify modern Crix. So. Scar one. Done. Scar one. One of my most hated fucking casters in the game. So Scar one. <laughs> Scar one. I think there's an argument. boring as fuck. I think your your second caster is kind of a, you're a bit forced at the moment. I think it's either Coven, uh, or, Coven or Denny one. Yeah, Coven or Denny one. But Denny one's so like assassinatable. This, this... She has always been assassinatable, but her feet is a ball buster. Yeah. And if you don't have any, if you don't have any spell hates, like I don't care who you are, your armor's paper. Yeah. And I mean that's just anyone. And now anyone can take Gas B four as well, just to you know really pump that damage up in case yeah, you needed yeah. it. Well, I guess I guess Scar Scar three has still got um, a place on the table as well. Yeah. Could, like sort of all I, I think. So. I think the death of infantry has really hurt Scar three. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Scar three can she can play a really good game without infantry. I mean, she was a strong release for Crix. Yeah. <laughs> she can honestly be built in any direction you want. She's based. I mean, she's got ship stream to push up the threat ranges of your warjacks. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, you can easily play a Black Industries list built around her. And yeah. you just don't care that or just you know minimal um, infantry. Um, just take it in slaughter feet, just to like have a bunch of sixes. You just run, just to trigger gang on Charybdis and on your stalkers, and be like, hey, there you go. <laughs> They're all weapons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where you so, so there's there's definitely play there. Yeah. 
And obviously, um, as we've said, yeah, Scar One I think is, is is perhaps not the most interesting caster, but it's super. It's really strong still. Um, I don't think she's that strong. She's still slow as fuck, and it's she, it's Crix's big pumps, problem as a pumps, faction. She pumps their numbers up like to. to she a pumps the numbers up. But, but they're is, base Crix. But, is it, is but it you're working way? off a Crix baseline, which yeah. is a shit baseline <laughs> to start with. She so. pumps their numbers up to what Infernals do baseline. <laughs> I mean, this, this you know, be, this hell be, this to what the ki- to what problem. the king of to what the king of nothing done as as a baseline. Yeah. She pumps their numbers up on feet turn. Like <laughs> I'm not impressed. Yeah, that's fair. It's the best Crix has to offer. Granted, I'll I won't argue that. Yeah, yeah. I played I played I'm her. Not and, impressed. I played her and um, Coven in uh, in one of the little well, she was more or less just a. Just to play around with them, I think Matt as well, our captain, played played them in another one. We did like a couple of rounds, basically where it was yeah. in, in post fashion. So would we say that they're are they are they as bad as C? I I would put them at C. I really would. Sad I I just it's a sad thing. I think they're I, th- I think they're on the back foot every time you face a pairing choice. Yeah, uh, every time you. Every time you sit down and you're choosing which of your two lists, you're trying to minimize the damage. You're never asking a hard question. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, like looking at looking like when we played obviously VTC, I'm not sure any of the Crick's lists I particularly saw scared me. Um, no. And I'm not sure that other people on the team had a worry there either. So yeah, I go. Gonna yeah, yeah. agree that no, no, nobody bothers preparing for cricks, or maybe they'll play two games and say, "Oh right, we don't need to prepare for cricks." Yeah. It's, it's weird because we, we've got um, like our our TO for Sherwood side um, very much plays old school cricks still. So like the game he played this week that I saw was like mm-hmm. thirty or forty banes running across the table. And, uh, so, I mean, I am waiting with bated breath to be able to. Yeah, so I want to play with Mechanothralls and Soul Hunters again. Like these were my favourite models, um, and I I absolutely just, loved just, just uh, Bile Thralls as well. <laughs> Sorry, just play just play Strange Bedfellows. They can all be in Strange Bedfellows, Bile Thralls, oh, Mechanothralls, God. and Soul Hunters. Yeah, take maybe the, I can take find them with a one way. and make them all fly. The, the, the problem is the the problem is all of those. Are in such desperate need of a CID. They, yeah, they, they need a lot of help, and <laughs> they really do. You, you've got to be. And the game, the game hasn't been kind. Like the nerfs were really harsh on them. Yeah. And then the game has grown beyond them. In addition to that, like yeah. it's just not a good place. Yeah, I think uh, obviously death again. Cartier of Death Jack will make uh, a, a big a big bump when it arrives. Um, it, but, yeah, it'll but you're, be you're, interesting. But you're you're yeah you're right you're, you're kind of scraping, um, and going please like let these guys be good, um, with, yeah and, yeah they, they need they need a, a bit of a, a more in depth look perhaps to, to get there. So that's our first C faction. God, what, yeah. what a change from from the end of March. Full of, to full of cricks from from bully from from Lich two in Mark two getting mm. about four nerfs and still and being the, the top of the probably. pile. <laughs> Sad state of affairs. Right, so Cricks are there. Oh yeah, we've committed to uh, to a C for Cricks. Um, so yeah. Next, next up is oh, is from Cricks to Retribution. So uh, obviously they got they got Gore Shade. Wow, uh, they got Gore Shade. They, they got um, Gore so Shade they got there. Shade to They got no, Falsier. I'm not sure if Shade. To, I'm not sure Gore Shade's like one of the top competitive casters, but yeah, they've got Falsier, who is immense. Like, Falsia, Falsia is a is an apex predator. Like yeah. just on the strength of Falsia alone, I want to put them in S. Um, it, it could be like I I I've only played against it on the table once, and it's terrifying. And it's I mean I I've just played against it online, and I've watched a whole bunch of those online, and jeez, yeah. that caster is it, strong. It's, it's funny listening to to Paul. Um, Paul from the, um, the England Knights team yeah, talk, yeah. talk about Falsia and say like, oh yeah, but you you can't do that because then Falsia dies. And it's like, but if Falsia has come in and killed like a colossal and <laughs> and a heavy, you know, and and then it's she's still just killed there. one. She's just killed one archangel and the other archangel can't reach anything. Like yeah. that's 
That's and fair. She, like, what the hell just happened? Be, she can't be knocked down. She can't be blinded. She can't be. I don't think you can you can CRA or CMA into her. You can't. I think, she, right I think she's got. Doesn't she also have like unreasonably strong defensive stats? Yeah. Like yeah, and, like and then, large base large base caster defensive stats. Yeah, and then you just bring obviously you can bring like a bit of support with her. And she just goes. Well, it's, from, I from, love like, that uh, that double Gorgon. The double Gorgon list that Paul was playing with is amazing. The amount yeah, yeah. of control that brings is yeah, stupid. You, you can't shoot her. <laughs> She's just too too hard. If you can get herself behind you, something, you, you you're not gonna can't get shoot her. Minus four speed to everything yeah, that so matters. Like, get oh her. man, it is. It's ball busting. It's ball right? busting. Yeah. It's yeah. so strong. So I think she so, is yeah. absolutely an apex predator, and anyone that tells you otherwise. Don't is lying through their teeth. They're lying, they're they're lying. They're <laughs> lying while, they're, while they're about to kill they're, you. They're absolutely lying through their yeah. teeth. This caster is... Yeah, 15-17. It's large base caster stats on a small base caster. Yeah. No, man. Okay. Everything about her is just crazy. So, so, that's, that's, that's so one she's cancer. really strong. And then... <clears throat> and, then and then you've got, you've got your choice. You've got Gary, too, who does think, give you some re uh, really interesting options. Yeah, I think Gary, too, Gorshay too really fell strong. off the map, map a bit. Well, he, he wants to be... <laughs> Taking the infantry and, right, so that's just going to punish. It's just being punished too much in the, the current meta, I think. Um, and it's and it's Syria, which is just always, always a contender. Or, and, and she the, is the new the new so Helena strong. as well. I think is awesome. I think new Helena in that's Forges of War with double um, trident and then a bunch of like the Manticores, obviously uh, Manticores Discordia okay. is, I think really like chunky there's there's a lot of like control elements where where her gun well she she, she just takes their armor up to like a, a good level every turn takes their armor up to yeah. a ridiculous level on feet turn and heals all the shields so if you've taken chip damage on the way in um lets you fight with them um, crippled systems that's it it's interesting and she also and i mean her feet give her feet gives you much stronger scenario presence as well yes, yeah while yeah. you play the take space and retreat game yeah and she, no, she, she there's, is like, there's I, a good I'm, argument I'm, for her i'm committing and it's like well there's my there's my tridents uh with their yeah. their, their shields and their they've got like uh, and, and i i like a similar i like a similar approach there with um so you don't have the same sort of resilience, but with Assyria, Assyria just answers so many questions. Yeah, yeah. She's the only one who's letting you see through stealth with your tridents. Yeah. Um, and, it, and she's just, just everything more accurate. Everything hit harder. And, everything's and, accurate. Everything's and, and hard. It's all the, all the control elements she brings as well by able, by being able to like throw blinding light. And it, and it means you can yeah you can play more of the infantry because uh, you know she's speeding them up as well. Yeah. But yeah, I, so, I, yeah. I think, yeah, I think Ret are in a fantastic spot, and they I, are. I put Ret. I put Ret. I think some people might argue for them in A. I would put them in S. I, I, I mean, really I would. Think if they didn't have Falsir, I'd put them in A. I'd put them probably mid A, I, but with Falsir. I hundred percent agree with you. I think, I think Falsir is, pushes them to S tier. So I agree. strong, yeah. So there we go, and I think people. Yeah. Are, I think people are underplaying them. Felsia like, got so much shit from the red community when she came out mm -hmm. of CID, and I don't understand it. Yeah, like, I don't know what sort of broken nonsense that uh, they thought she should have had to oh, yeah. she, <laughs> to be better. She's not good enough. <laughs> like seriously, that oh. that's a it's a it's a lack of appreciation of a good control cast yeah. is the only thing I can think of there. <laughs> Potentially. Right, let's move on then. <laughs> let's move on. We've got okay. our first we got our first C out of Cricks as appropriate. Yeah. And our first S for resolution. Um so Crucible Guard are next. Um Crucible Guard? Oh I'm, I don't I'm putting them straight in at A. And I I I, th I think you I think your instinct's right on that one. I can't see anything. But A for them. I don't think I would. I would have. I would have put them B until it's until their recent quality of life upgrade. Yeah, and I think and the quality of life has been is so much of a boost. So it's it's all the yeah. and battle engines just repairing at the start of your yep. turn, which is huge. And and then the fact that all of your jacks and battle engines have also got better on their own. 
So uh, the fact that they've got a warjack that that uh, what's the name voids the need for the dragon rockets was yeah. a massive upgrade. Yeah. To Huge. Just sit back and basically just be the gun platform they wanted to be. Uh, they've got the addition or the, the changes to um, the, the heavy Lucas. infantry. Well, yeah, the change to oh, the, oh, yeah. the change to the heavy infantry to, to be like yes, they, much their upper, heavy infantry are everything. And, everything and, piggybacks oh, wish they were. Yeah, basically, and, you, and you've got you've got your choice. You've got your, your your heavy infantry that can be that can take a shot and and just smash it smash you with guns from a million miles away. And then your guys that come in, uh, either be in the failed experiments yeah, or the... Uh, it's a failed the experiments I'm thinking of. Yeah. They are just amazing. Yeah. Um, and they got that they got that really cool little solo that uh, that lets him start stacking the defense buffs. Yes. Bonkers. Bonkers. Um, and then, of yeah. course... And, and, and then, of course, Lucas L- just Lucas went just through tops, the roof. Tops it off. I think <laughs> he kind yeah. of... Like, I think Lucas is an immense caster. And... I, he is terrifying. <laughs> um, I think I think McKay is still quite scary. Yeah, and I think Silvestro is still like, really, really good. Silvestro, Silvestro. Sevestro- I mean, I, I think honestly, it's, the pairing is probably Lucas and Silvestro. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think there is space for people who want to play all the trains with uh, McKay. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's good. Though. Like, you know, obviously, they're, they're a limited faction. Um, and you can't just like buy a bit of everything and be like, I'm there. I can play everything in my factory. Yeah. It, it to, it and and that's it. I can paint them up, enjoy them, and I'm done. Yeah, I, I really like the, the the shift in the aesthetic as well towards like the the basically the psychic and physical experiments. It's like changes from being like these sort of um, uh, essentially like nerdy freedom fighters, right? They're the alchemists and scientists freedom fighters to a little bit more Resident Evil style. Uh, I mean, I I should more... I should love them. Like the, you know, this is the faction of engineers. I, this should be my babies. <laughs> yeah. But I absolutely hate the um, the the Vulcan. I just can't stand it. I I look at this and it's like, really, guys, you went through all this effort to make a giant Jack in a wheelchair, really. It, it it's a ma- it's a gargantuan wheelchair. It drives me nuts. Yeah, <laughs> I can't stand it. So there we go. So that's a that's a solid A. For but me. yeah, a solid a solid A. There isn't. They don't love things that uh, that are defensive against shooting. Yeah. Um, I think they might. I don't think they have a great game into Le- into modern Legion. Right, so I'm going to go and give uh, some uh, some milk to uh, my little girl who's just woke up. But I will let you talk go about. For it. I will let you talk about why infernals are S tier. So I'll come back in a second. Oh, infernals! Infernals! That right. nobody is playing them at D at uh, so BTC. They clearly. Second, okay, I I mean if I'm if I'm going to troll, I need someone on the other end to troll to. <laughs> so I mean infernals infernals are. They're either S or A tier. Hard to decide right now. Um, I'd say six months ago they were definitely S tier. They were tearing up the world. Um, and, I mean, Infernals do some... They ask a hard question. That's what makes them so scary. Their question is, can you break my back in three turns? And if you can't, you lose. They put a clock on you. And that's rather scary. You know, it's often you'd like to kind of do a bit of peace trading. You'd like to set up an advantage on one flank, whatever you're doing. Um, and then Infernals come along and say, well, while you're dicking around in trading, you've now lost because I've got double your board presence. Because I just keep on sacrificing solos and turning each one into a heavy. Um, and especially when you start with a lot of heavies on the table already. So like your typical Amadamas 5 uh, Five tormentor list, it it can get really it can get overpowering and a bit overwhelming at the same time. So that would be my talk about. Uh, that would be my initial view on infernals. Um, the game's gotten a little faster for infernals, which is quite scary. Uh, you know, it's the big one that was the big uh, speed list that was always on the table was Aurora, Aurora one or two, but usually two um, and that's just quite scary you could jump into infernals and just beat them down um, and 
it was exactly the style that you need to take on Infernals. You need to be able to have one big turn where you take off three or four heavies. Um, and that that breaks their back. But without being able to without being able to do that with most factions, it put Infernals in a good spot. Now you've got some pretty scary alternatives where you've got things like Legion who literally sandpaper off Infernals. You can shoot out two heavies even through um, deceleration in one turn. Um, and that's really frightening for Infernals. So suddenly that you're summoning one, losing two, and Infernals are too slow to get to you. Um, you've got you've got Kruger and uh, various minions like Azazello just launching these uh, these terrifying um, Death Archons at you. And even if you've brought Valen Hark so you don't get Station Read, um, suddenly these Death Archons hit you. And because you're forced to play close, um, just by the nature of Infernals, each Death Archon is going to hit typically at least three heavies. And it's going to knock off probably two-thirds of their health. And that's really frightening. So I'm not sure they still S tier. <clears throat> um, they're definitely no lower than A tier. I think there's an argument for whether they're S or A. Um, but are we still waiting for it to come back? So the most important thing is, of course, that you know they've been they've been abandoned by the online community. So my argument is clearly that they should actually be D tier, and that should you know prod privateer press to just give them the buffs they really desperately need and I, I think those buffs are important um, I do wonder if I can actually see on Twitch the chat to see if there's anyone there, ah do we have a return of the dad oh, I heard something there <laughs> is that a Dan? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> um, and, okay. and yes, it'll be on YouTube right later as well, buddy. Um, maybe tonight if I can. Um, so, how, how did it go? Are you, are you, are right. a bit, I'm a little bit so, surprised I didn't come back to you, like, uh, going on some epic, epic sort of uh, story about how amazing <laughs> the new gargantuans are, or the colossal. So, powers. I haven't even, I haven't got to the gargantuans. I, I gave a bit of a retrospective. I haven't tried, I haven't tested the new gargantuan. I'm Ooh. excited by it. So, the so terrifying. I mean, where where I left where I left off just before you got back was that clearly infernals have been abandoned by the community in the competitive events um, because they're just bad models. So this is our wake up call to privateer to buff them. Oh right, okay. um, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't say that without an audience to tell me I'm talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think like I don't think there's anything that's not. Bust is good about Infernals. They they they're model wise. They look super I mean, super cool. They they are they're really good. And so I mean, the big thing that pushes them, you know, Hi, to a choice between S and A tier, is the fact that they ask such a hard question. Yeah. They ask they ask the question: Can you break my back before the uh, by the end of turn three? Yeah, and and it's and, just this rel unrelenting and, onslaught, just building up. It, if you can't, you lose. That's it. They put a clock on you. You're done. There'll be. There's just too much meat to chew yeah. through if you yeah. take that long. If you try to trade piece for piece, you will lose. Um, I, in fact, when when I play Infernals, I'll often trade a heavy for an enemy light. Like, eh, it costs me. <laughs> yeah, it costs I'll, me four have, points for a solo. I'll have plenty more to come where that's where that's come from. Yeah, yeah. It's, Sorry. Yeah, but, yeah, there's plenty more. There's always plenty more to to go. So yeah, you can you can yeah. trade you can trade down I, and not feel bad about I'm, it. Am I, am I trading in a, I'm trading a tormentor for Morris. I'll take that and I'll take that with spades. Like yeah. absolutely. Um, so what I was saying though is I'm not sure they're S tier. So this this is where it's a little bit more debatable. I think there's a lot more in the meta that's fast enough to jump on them and and break them in one turn. All right. <clears throat> um, 
Death Archons are terrifying to a faction that's forced to cr uh, clump up. You've got a lack of Pathfinder, and you also have the gate cramping you up. Yeah. So it, for it forces you to play close. You want to be close to the gate. You've got to walk around the gate. You can't run through it anymore. It forces you to play really tight. And Death Archons punish the hell out of that. Like yeah. when each Death Archon charges and catches three, three Tormentors, each Death Archon will quite easily take off two thirds of the health of a Tormentor. Maybe only half the health if you're playing on Am Amadamas. Yeah. Um, and then make you stationary if you haven't brought Vale and Hark, which is a bit of a coin toss right now. I think I think you're like, the only one that I've seen without Valen so far. Um, so, yeah, but that's because no one no one else has been playing Infernals in the last this like, is eight true, months. Yeah, they have. <laughs> I think I think a lot of it is is like people that jumped on them went in hard and essentially either burnt out or yeah or came up against this like unfortunately a war a wall of negativity that. Infernal's players because Infernal's there, there so is a, strong. There is a bit of a wall of negativity, yeah. and to be fair, like I mean, that Omadamus list before the nerf was genuinely broken. Yeah, countercharging through your own models at mat seven is not okay. Yeah, I think, like, I think it's, it's just it's just not. It, it was tweak, unfair. I think the tweak was like quite a reasoned, like measured response. Like, it was it was a good I, nerf, but it wasn't like we're just going to crush you. So. Yeah, it, it, they didn't nuke from orbit, yeah. but at the same time, Valen Hark could have used a little help. Like, I don't think he's got some that extra, much place right rules. now. <laughs> Sorry? Some extra rules on his card. Some, something to replace that. Like, I mean, my best, com my best comparison there is the... Oh, what the hell is that idiot's name? There's a similar... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Cavalry solo in Mercs, where he's also giving everyone um, Tactician, Gabriel same as Valen Hark used to do. Yeah, Gabriel Throne, that's it. Yeah, yeah and he's, um, he's handing out Pathfinder and Tough. And he's also or, handing out Pathfinder that, Tough, he's handing out plus buff. two damage. Yeah. Like, he's doing a lot in addition to the defense, in addition to now uh, using, uh, what's this called? Um, Valen Hark's old Tactician. Yeah, and yeah. that I mean, I, at the very least, Throne should lose that same version of Tactician. That think, just bugs me. I think but if, it's hard to it's hard to justify seven points for him. Is the yeah, is the basis? I think, I think if um, Death Archons weren't in the meta or they didn't have exactly the same rules, I I, I wouldn't even consider him. Yeah, because because I wouldn't there's, even there's consider him. Stationary to worry about unless you, unless you and, take him into consideration. And right now, I take him as a grudge purchase because of uh, death, <laughs> because of Death Archons. I think that's a lot um, of people that... in a lot of factions. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but uh, I mean so the big. Think, think, so think my my main point. Them. Sorry. So you're you're talking me down to an A tier then from them. I, well, I'm trying. Well, I'm saying that there's a lot in the faction. There's a lot in the game now that really punishes their slow speed. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the slow speed obviously comes with caveats, like you can double Hellmouth stuff forward with Agathon yeah, and that sort of thing. Can, or you can layer your stuff and go, it, if I'm slow, but you're not coming into me, then next turn I'll have another heavy. And then next turn I'll yeah. have another heavy. And you that, that mitigates well, the, the speed problem, I think, where, where Grimkin, I mean, for instance, I, I, don't. Yeah. Infernals do, Gr and they can Grimkin, just go, they sit back and yeah. if, if you're not engaging me, I'm just getting stronger every turn until I can just crush you overwhelmingly <laughs> I, I i mean i think of them right now as better grimkin yeah but grimkin have uh, grimkin have the arcana which is great fun yes it's so cool. but also like um, but but they are they ask the question better than grimkin do yeah i think to me yeah if you if you look at say omo agathon it's essentially a better version of child and king as a, a combo <laughs> so you've got this ridiculous spell assassination every turn on, available yeah out of agathon and omo is just like here's here's my brick my brick and my bricks will build the wall in front of me and so it's where, just where hideous. is where is grim king and losing heavies as they approach you <laughs> as they're getting yep. combat uh, infernals are gaining heavies as they go into combat and infernals also have better threat extenders yes yeah yeah they've got like mods like, rather than the 
child's about as good as you're getting in um yeah, what's it plus, called in Grimkin. And that's a plus then, four. Uh, like um, I've got a I've yeah. got a lazy plus five with uh, with Agathon. I can push that up to a plus eight if I really need to. <laughs> yeah. Seems um, seems di a bit different. So I, I yeah. see so, the, and the things the things that prey on them, right? So I think you've still got so many good options and especially now you've got this these horrific um gargantuan horror spray machines that can like hose down that, that's good that very well may change the, so i haven't tried i haven't pro uh, played any games with the new yeah. gargantuans well, like, what, what uh, that's the only that's the only thing i'm nervous about mm. that, that or not nervous about that's the only thing that makes me not push harder to say put them at a yeah because that may change them up uh, yeah, yeah, right I, now I, i've not seen them either but i I've looked at them and I've gone. So your your one of your worst matches, right for Infernals, is Vlad Doom Reavers. Is that is that still the case? You would so say? Vlad, yeah. So Vlad Doom Reavers is really painful for Irma Yeah. Um, but if you actually, this... it's not it's not a whole lot of fun for Agathon, yeah. but Agathon's got options. But essentially, you can um, have this 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 colossal horror with so many sprays on tap. With so with so just... many sprays and AOEs, like yeah. you can go nuts. Yeah, you can just, um, like wipe out that that it, threat entirely off the table. And go like it, it's all. It's also a nice big easy to protect single targets, which yeah. means I can stop I can stop Bethane from disintegrating it. I can, um, I, you know, I can apply some useful shield guards to yeah. protect it. It's not getting shot off the turn by an archangel. Yeah, yeah. You know? you can, you can, you, so you're you not can sandpapering it back. Rules as your repetition point. You're like, yeah. So the the one thing I'm scared about in my opponent's list uh, can pop up. I can take. I can things. take one. Yeah, I can take one umbral. Yeah. And it, I don't feel bad about it. So, so it may change it. Without that, I feel like they've dropped from S to A because there's so much that preys on them now. Just with the speed of the, just with the speed of the game. So, hey. uh, I I'll, I could I could be argued to the bottom of S or the top of A. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think let's they, leave. I still, think let's leave them on S there. You're you're not comfortable still, dropping them to A, and <laughs> I, still think I mean they have been preying they, on people pretty hard. Yeah, I was gonna say they they prey on so many lists. From so they many do. Matches. They prey on so much. And that's, they that's really the thing. Are. That they've got even just in Hearts of Darkness, and in. Heart of Darkness? That's the, 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 the traitor theme, right? Just in... Um, yeah, Heart of, Heart of Darkness is when you play non-Infernal yeah. Masters. Uh, and they've, they've got some interesting options there, like Lucas, I guess. But like even if they just take the three Infernal yeah. Masters, just three casters is... Just the three Infernal so Masters. Any one of those casters would be considered it. broken in any other yeah. faction. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> like, take away summoning. Any one of... Maybe not Omadamos. Maybe... Certainly, Zataroth and Agathon yeah. would be considered top tier casters in yeah. any faction. And they they, they just they like, just, they just break like some factions just cannot deal with them at all. And yeah. the fact that they're that much of a predator, I think for me, says even if it's got to be the bottom end of S, even, even if it's bottom end, yeah, keep them at S tier. <laughs> that's go. that's fair. Good talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, we're we're through. The War Machine factions, apart from Mercs, we're through War Merc, Machine because Mercs randomly end up in the bottom. Yeah, um, but we'll get to them. So uh, the first of the Hordes factions, Trolls, Trollbloods, Trollbloods. Um, wow, has the world changed to Trollbloods? <laughs> like my 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 gut feeling is to put them A or B. I'm feeling A. Trollbloods um, have had a new have had new life injected into them they don't have a lot of options like I, I don't think their pairings particularly varied but damn is it scary um what would you say i am um, i look at cold grimmer gunny 2 and yeah cold grimmer cold grimmer is still a, is still an option yeah, I think gunny 2 is the big boy on the block and well magic one slash azazello you know, yeah, I, I mean, as it, <laughs> basically seems like the better choice. Right. But Maddie, Maddie one's scary as hell. Like you can't, you can't rule out Ma uh, Maddie one. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I think. Um, and, and everything else is played for shits and giggles. Basically, though, that's all you're looking at and, for and competitive like pairing. For, for me, the difference between them being um, like A and B. Oh no, no, sorry. I uh, John was playing around with some pretty scary Ragnar lists. Oh yeah, yeah. As in uh, John Henry. Yeah. 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 I think. Um, but yeah, like that. The the extra access to the minions casters. Um, the, the barrage yeah. team and Gunny 2 as a whole is huge. Oh wow, the, the, did the, that the little, just change things up so much? The little, the little um, tweaks to things like the Pyre Troll, like the, the Pyre uh, Troll being yeah. good is like in every list I see now from Trolls I think. And and the thing is, Trollkin never needed that much, like especially on the back of just how good um, the bears are. Yeah. Oh, bear, and bears, with how many scenarios, bears, oh, and how many scenarios yeah, and how many scenarios, you know, force are these you. widespread scenarios that force you into yeah. bear into ambusher range? But yeah, we we and like, and, and the I've less actually... said about that asshole bumbles, the better. Yeah, I was gonna say Eric Eric's been on the stream a bunch of times. Uh, one of the American players who plays trolls. Yeah, and man, like having having the bears, the bear units, bumbles, oh. and boom howler, and Valka is. Like, Cannot tell you like how many Krakens I've lost to those stupid bears. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's, God, there's, some, there's some really good control in forcing your opponent in because you've got these these ambushing units that hit like heavies. Um, and then when you do come in, you've got all these counter-charging monstrosities. Yep. So like Bumbles and... Um, and, and uh, Oh, um, there's, uh, there's one. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking Boom, about. I can't Boom, remember their Boom, name. And Boomy three. And obviously, like if they're, yeah. if they're counter charging you, they're either knocking you down or throwing you. And it's like, oh, so that's whatever you had in mind. It's likely out the window if you've forgotten about it for a second or if you've mispositioned. Like they're they're really ball busting, and I think that's that's what takes that's what takes their lists to like this really scary level. Yeah, but I don't think it also makes them a lot more priority. interesting. Yeah, because it it gives them some faster, some yeah. unusual avenues as opposed to just this walking pile of meat. Yeah, and then but looking looking at the difference between A and B, so I think that they're A because they don't just get by. They have they have like that that dominance where you you have to look at their lists and you have to be you have to be wary of what they've got. Um, I think Boomhaller 2 is what shifts him to A because he asks such a hard question. A 2 rather than 3? I think it, it depends on what list, I guess, though, right? Sorry, uh, sorry not, it's not Boomy. Uh, what, uh, what's his face? Uh, Gunny. Blasty Boy. Yeah, Gunny, Gunny 2. two. Yeah. Yeah, Gunny 2 is Gunny two. super strong. Super um, and, yeah. Co and Cold Grimmer and, and is Boomy, like... And Boomy 3 is just goddamn stupid, but that, you know, that's just a super solo. Yeah, but I think, yeah, I think I'm, I'm with you. Um, Gunny shifts it massively so from going to like obviously you can just tank up the shots with some of the other casters but have it having the ability to to say here is my here's my brick list that's going to advance yep. and then smash you and it's gonna be super hard to remove either because it's like madrak or colgrim for whichever reason it's control or just weight of boxes that they wouldn't heal uh or dunian or dunian and dunian and then hermit, and then heal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, you, you've got some really strong options yeah. there, and I it's... think that, that's the difference. Yeah, is it's you've got to look at their lists uh, with with care while, while you choose what you're going to play into them. You can't just go. Uh, they ask they ask a lot of questions between them as well as being able to answer a lot of them. Yeah, better, I, I I put them right at the top of A. I I don't think they're quite apex predators, but so looking at A at the moment. We've got uh, Menoth, Crucible Guard, and Trolls. You think Trolls are the top? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. They they scare me more than Menoth right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Menoth I, have got. I put them up there. I think Menoth have got answers into a lot more stuff. Or, 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 or sorry, Menoth have got a strong answer into like everything, perhaps, but not a scary list to go into generally speaking. Um. So I'm with you with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So you yeah, have Trolls, and. Uh, and uh, Chaos Black on 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 Twitch, yeah. As a, as a Mark two, as a Mark one player, he's sad to see Crix in the in the C. And it's like, yeah. They so are, I'm 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 right it. there with you, Chaos Black. I'm right there with you. So a big <laughs> a big hit there. Um, and uh, talk talking of predators, the next one is Circle. And I'm like, 
Oh fuck, can we just not talk about Circle, can put them on S and move on? Like, circle, I think everyone yeah. would appreciate that. <laughs> can Circle not be S? I don't think, see how Circle can't be the top of S. I, I don't even think there's a pairing, there's just Kruger and move on. Like, yeah, it's it's just, and he then... is such a, he is the bad, he is the big bad. Like, yeah. you know. He is, he is basically the, the meta predator. He's and, a monster. He's an utter fucking whatever, monster. Whatever <laughs> emerges from any any faction to challenge him oh. is well. That's fine. You've got your second list, and that's, that's all. Yeah, you need that's to it. Is the one list they can pick together that isn't totally shit against Kruger. <laughs> and I mean, and you just prey on that. I, I, I mean, you, <laughs> you, know? you chat. You know, you chat to Harrison. It's like he's not even sure he needs an off list. He's like build one because why not? But yeah. what? What for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I do a lot of dojo with Harrison. I think he's a quality, cool guy, and I, I've played. He's a with great him. guy. But yeah, but yeah, you, <laughs> and it's the same with Baby Michael, right? He goes, you play Kruger. Hmm. Circle is Kruger. Kruger is Circle. Circle, Circle is Kruger. That's <laughs> why, like, that's why I'm really interested in you know the Kruger Zero that's been released. He looks like he looks really good. Yeah. But, but realistically, ever... <laughs> uh, that, that might be buffing up your off list, and when are you dropping your off list? Yeah, he's, he's basically there. <laughs> he's, it's basically so you can put a Kruger in the list that kills the thing that tries to kill Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking irony. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, I think, I, think, so, I think we should move on. I think we go. I think Circle will go to the top of the S tier. They are the predator for. They are, they are the apex predator. You have, beyond. You have, if yeah. you haven't seen it, Beyond if, you, question. Yeah, if you're watching and you're like, what's what's the big deal? Uh, Kruger mm. in Secret Masters has taken yes. an, his, his old list with basically Kruger with a load of walls that can um, geomancy, telekinesis, or, or gallows, or whatever they want to. Yeah. Um, but then adding in death and then just hit And then just hammer the right quest yeah. button until it breaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Add, add death archons and all the broken... Hard right oh. quest shit like Marvin and Mayhem and Kogan. Yeah. Uh, Just right. hammer, hammer that button and you're done. And and, and add and add some <laughs> porn to um to Kruger. So you to can't, Kruger. So if you can, because get sack, the, because yeah. sack onto an armor twenty <laughs> warjack is fun. Yeah, and, if, and if you if you can if you can actually get through to shoot him because of windstorm, then yeah, then, then yeah. You just sack Good porn, luck. Sack pawns off to like a uh, hermit. Four times, then to fucking the Death Arc on, then to you know, whatever. Oh, it's just upsetting. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Welcome to oh, uh, PTSD what? of Kruger. That's the the, the, oh. the place. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it really is. So the next the next real faction that isn't just a one a one caster show is Legion of Everblight. And uh, yeah, but, well, so yeah. Both, so both of us, our first loves, right? And I'm I'm yeah. super happy that Legion are in a top competitive spot again because they were. I they were am so, ecstatic about Legion right they now. Were so bad. I am so, so happy. Not yeah. only are Legion in a good place, but we're finally in a position where um, where what's it called? Where Legion, where the Archangel. Uh, in my opinion, the prettiest model that PP have ever released yeah. is actually good and feels good on the table. Like Legion's in such a good place, um, and and a lot of it's on the back of the Blight Archon, which you know, if we're brutally honest, yes, is way more is way too strong for its points. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's, 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 you know what? That 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 is the game we're playing right now with but, but you know we, with we, all the ride quest solos and the archons Archon in the game. Testing people were like, "This is the most busted thing in the world," and then it's come out and it's like, "It's good," but I don't think. It's yeah, like... yeah, well, it's interesting, and I mean, I was one of those people. I was predicting everyone was going to play it in Primal Terrors, where it can one round a gargantuan. Yeah. Um. And I mean, I tried that list, and it was, uh, yeah, they were really strong. But the truth is, you struggle to find the points because Legion beasts are still expensive, yeah. And Legion infantry is still shit. <laughs> so, uh, with the possible exception of virtues, although I don't want to give them credit. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> but you know your best best your best beast is still the archangel by quite a long shot. Yeah, and and it is um, super good. We've we've had one of um one of our lo- in fact one of our locals who was on Signar for ages, and he's an ex England WCC player, I think, um, Nathan. Who you, who he what he wasn't at um wasn't at Sherwood because it was like his son's birthday or something. Um, Poor he, excuse. And uh, yeah, <laughs> his daughter's birthday the next Sherwood, but it turns out it's a week before. It's fine. Um. <laughs> But yeah, he, he's he's gone back to uh, to Legion and is loving it, and it's like sticking Ar- uh, sticking Angelius's on the Blight Archons, which I think I is, mean, which I think is a fantastic so, package to to pilot. Yeah, to do your. Obviously, it's you, really you've good. Obviously, you've obviously, got a Mechano Shredder, so you've got the Threat Extender, wh- whoever you bring. Then you pile and you do your um your armor piercing attack. You can sidestep backwards off it. You, yeah, if well, you, if you, you can also you can also charge off. something. And use the bite attack to get yourself the extra distance to armor pierce the thing you actually want yeah, to armor want, pierce. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which um, is which is great. Yeah. So yeah, you've got a lot of options in Legion. Um, what's nice is there's you know okay there's the obvious power casters which is I I'm going to you know shock nobody by saying Legion belongs in S tier. <laughs> um, and that's simply and that's simply on the back of uh, Bethane two, oh, Bethane because Bethane two super, is ball breakingly strong. Mm. Like I, I would put a. I don't think she's quite Kruger two, but she might be. I haven't actually played that matchup. Um, so I know, I know, I know but the I, uh, I know the Molly Whoppers. Um, so um, we're, we're practicing a bunch. I know uh, Donny, who is a top guy, was was putting. Double Bethane, double Archangel in, but like just rolling, yeah. just rolling like I don't know, <laughs> just just rolling toss and like failing to kill like Malvin and Mayhem with an Archangel or something. But in theory, <laughs> that's in awful. Theory, in theory, it's good. It's really it so strong. It is so god awful strong. I mean, it's... I I played it. I I actually didn't drop it most of my games at VTC. I was playing more. Um... Was it VT? No, it wasn't VTC. It was the three-man tournament I was playing. That was the yeah. Fish Court team event. Um, so most of the games, I actually dropped Beth N one. Um, yeah. I think she's a bit more fun. And I really, and she's also super strong. Do you? Do you uh, think... But Be- God, oh, sorry, Karen. Yeah, yeah. As I was say, do you think Beth N two is enough to put them into S tier? Or yes, she's an just, she's an apex shy. predator, at least as strong as Falcon, possibly stronger. Ooh. Okay. Right, I, so. I, I would call her that strong. She's a plus four damage swing just on her own, yeah. which is massive. And she has such a strong denial feat. Yeah, you, you basically have to a... kill three archangels to kill an archangel in her list if she's yeah. wounded. So you, got, uh, you don't got... have, you don't even have to play archangels with her. You don't have to play double archangel. Yeah, Dan, you can Dan build Price whatever got, um, you want. A nice list with what it... rakes, which are with transmutation. I mean, Luke, Luke was playing a really fun one with a, you know, one or two rakes, a couple yeah. of angelii. You play a heavy or two. Um, I'm actually uh, I'm busy testing out a, a children list with Typhon and a whole bunch of these. Um, oh, and I mean, man. like, even with Typhon, that is stupid. Every time Typhon takes damage, yeah, he he's... Triggers um, excessive healing. Yeah, so you you get to transfer it and excessive heal. Trans, you know, transfer stuff back to him to make sure he's still got stuff to excessive heal. Be- Benny, like, it can get obnoxious. Benny in the chat. Benny's one of the, the Welsh players. Who has been on Legion? Yeah, I think Benny's always been on Legion. I think he bought some men off. Like, did I don't think he ever put them on the table and just sold them? Because uh, so mm-hmm. he's he's, uh, he's cheering cheering on Legion there. Going yeah, I think and I think you're right. Yeah, it's Bethane Bethane two on her own is is equivalent to Falsy. I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, and then, and then there's it, enough other flex options. It, there's right? enough. Chris Beth one is super strong. Chris, Chris is ludicrously is strong. strong. Um, Beth one's amazing. There's still an Abbey two game um, to be had, I think, as well. Um, yeah, and the Abbey two game's interesting. I'm not as convinced by it. Yeah. <coughs> Primal Terrors is still a thing. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not, uh, it's not as strong with Death Archons around, but you can make a, you can make some pretty scary stuff in Primal Terrors. Yeah. Uh, you can build Beth 2 in Primal Terrace if you want. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, cho cho chosen. chosen chosen under that feet is really yeah, nasty. Yeah, it can be pretty pretty ballsy. Right, so there we go. So, so Legion yeah. back back at the top. That's where Legion were when I started playing them. I think in Mark Two <laughs> with, uh, with with Veil vale, Lilith. Yeah, uh, we've missed out convergence in our in our uh, war machines. Have episode. we missed out convergence? So convergence. Oh wow! Let's, let's talk about convergence quickly before we go back That's to. Uh, a... Oh course. God! Okay. Well, do you want to do you want to elaborate on them because you've been so, playing them heavily for a yeah, while? So, so I've, I've played them basically for for two years through through lockdown uh, in like the BTC and all the different Steam wars, um with with some decent success. Um, but I, I think they're super interesting. They're not a limited faction, so they're, they're kind of cool to get into. Um, uh, and that's that's in fact that's that's what I'm doing. I basically have limited factions are the. the, the the, the cupboard saver for space, right? So I'm playing Grimkin and, and Convergence. But but Aurora just holds them up. Oh, um, and without, she's, she does. Without Aurora, I think they're like B. And I think Aurora takes them to the top of A. Um, so that was going to be my question. Do you rate them as A or S? Is Aurora enough of a predator to put them in S tier? So, like a lot of people, don't like playing against her, and and say that she's like she's too strong, and there's, there's various different builds have come out. So obviously there's there's the, the standard one, which is like three tessellators, all the angels, um, a random yeah. merc heavy like a Toro or a Nomad. Nomad's my choice because of the uh, the extra amount of the charge, um, mm. and then that's. Change slightly where people take in death archons and up to five tests. Death archons instead. instead of voids, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I, I do like the death archons instead of voids just because death archons are death archons. But, but whether or not that means it's enough to hold up the entire faction, and I think the reason why I don't put it S is yes, Strange Bedfellows with Aurora 2 is is an apex predator, but there isn't, there isn't a second list that's strong enough, I think. So, are the, so, I mean, the big question would be, it's the question that um, that Kruger answers yes to. Yeah. Are there, are there good enough answers out there to her if you build an answer list? Yes. That it forces absolutely. you to play your off list? Yeah, absolutely. Because, because Kruger doesn't get forced off his off. Yeah. Kruger never gets forced to his off list. He does it because he's bored. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, definitely lists that can prep for for, uh, for Aurora and shut down a lot of stuff. And I think, again, right. so even though she's an Apex yeah. Predator, you can, tar you, can, you can effectively target her. Whereas right. for, for, for instance, Kruger or for Bethane, you can't really do much. You've just got to it, deal with it. It's very hard. Yeah, it's very hard whereas, to realistically whereas, target yeah. them. Yeah, so we, I, I was, I, there was a, there was a big discussion on the Kador Facebook page um, this week about what someone was asking, like what, what what's the problem? What do you do? And and I answered it as an Aurora player, and obviously I've like looked at plenty of crew of uh, of, of, of K uh, Kador lists. And I was like, yeah, there's there's this, there's this, and I could like just start naming multiple multiple things. I mean, really. I, I was saying Plus it wasn't all. my favorite build in Kador, but you know, if you're playing Zerks too, then yeah. you, or, or I'll, any... blow, I'll, blow, I'll blow that feat just to take yeah. the negation angels off the table or like, in anything, a heartbeat. Anything with ponies, the ponies do do really good even without um, like Occult Whispers and, uh, and Zakoba too. They, they're just, oh, they're right. Just, because you don't get any of your defensive bonuses for the angels, none of them work against spells. And right. the only. The only Sort of magic hate in the list is from taking frustrum locuses to uh, to give you mage static, and that doesn't help against sprays either. So it's literally <laughs> go forward, spray, go back. Job done. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. And obviously you can take them with like you know with Vlad to get uh, science and portents. Um, yeah, you, you've got plenty of options. Uh, Victor's pie plate is horrific for the angels because it doesn't have to be blast damage; just sets them on fire. And they just burn to death. They can't. They can't survive fire. Right. <laughs> like, 
And then... yeah, and if you take if you take those away, then suddenly you actually have to commit real stuff when you yeah, leap yeah. across the and, table. And there's also things like um, you, if you take like creeping barrage, things to put down covering fire. Even though Aurora can make the angels move to blast damage, yeah, she's, yeah. She's, yeah. she's got a, Dan. Dan she's got loves a his commit. triple. Um, oh, what what's that? Red Jack. Um, I can't remember the name. Manticores, yeah. yeah, triple Manticores, and just puts down and, covering and it, it fire. Great, too. She can do, she can actually do um, a sentry command to give the, the the whole army essentially flying high and immune to blast damage, mm. so they ignore it. But it's only inside her command. So if she's throwing oh. angels through it, she's got to be forward. If you just stick them just in front of your army, you go, well, Aurora's now yeah. got to be nine or ten inches away from like you. Know, my victor or something <laughs> if she was if she wants to do yeah. that if she's nine or ten inches away from my conquest or my victor or, or whatever then so be it I, I, that's, if, if her gamble goes wrong yeah, yeah goes, she's welcome then wrong, right yeah <laughs> and that, that's why i put them at a rather than s i'd say um, okay and that's fair and I, I spent ages searching around for the off list i played with them um, one for a bit i tried some orion um and i tried to, i basically started looking i was looking at lock uh, and it was kind of looking at the, the lists at the time that were really bad, or they were particularly bad for me. Ooh. And that was before people really started going deep into teching against her. Uh, and that, and they yeah. now had two years to work out exactly what shit's all over. <laughs> <laughs> two yeah, years, fair two enough. Years gets you pretty far into like uh, list dojoing of how to fuck over this list. Uh, and that, and that, crush, that crunches, uh, um, yeah, that crunches them down to, to an eight. They're, they're still really good. You, you've got to, you've yeah. got to know what you're doing with it, and you've got to, you can't just like throw it up the table like you could when it was first out. Agreed. Um, so there we go, <laughs> convergence in a nutshell. Aurora. And, yeah. And there's lots of the, there's there's fun good lists from the other casters. They're just not at the top of the game. Um, yeah. And that's the difference. I think that stands for a lot of them. That's one of the reasons I'm so happy with Legion right now. Is you can build for any meta. Yeah, which is cool. You, you can. You can play at the bleeding edge. You can play really fun stuff lower down. There's so much that's just good at every stage. Yeah, which is, which is cool. It's a good spot to be in. Just looking for uh, my pot. It, it really is. Um, so we're back back to back to uh, the the hordes list. I'm just gonna fill up my water. Yeah. Because I'm I sat at my sink, obviously, because I'm in the hobby room. Um, so <laughs> next is scorn. Scorn. So I mean, does Scorn have a second caster? So we've got Zal, and then. Zal, and does it not need a second caster? Like. <laughs> they kind of do because Death Archons are actually terrifying for them. Yeah. So that the the big things uh, that was one of the big things that um, uh, catapulted Kruger to forward so much. Was Zal too used to prey on Kruger? Yeah. You, you can't TK anything. You can't. Uh, what's the name? His feet doesn't push the immortals. It really hurts. Yeah. But even with you know, with two eight point solos, all the immortals can be cleared up in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know, so yeah, Zal really, too, really you do need a second list now. So I think uh, Ben Benny is saying Makeda, Makeda, which Makeda three. Benny, you think Max, Max think three, really maybe. Good. I don't really understand her that well, but sure. I think Rasheth. Rasheth is, is always really scary. Yeah. I, I, think, I I feel like Rasheth is a, is probably your off list. I think well, seeing what has been um, played as well is Zakar in um, Disciples of Agony is pretty really? nasty. Yeah, like. The, the the swing of how hard it hits is ridiculous. So so like uh, obviously so this is, this is so it's, like, it's the minions crossover theme. Yeah. Uh, so obviously all the the minions. That's interesting. He takes become um, get get hit by his alpha hunter because they become scorn beasts. So they get plus two speed and mat, same as um, uh, Abby yeah. got alpha hunter. Uh, which is which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a little harder for him to trigger Alpha Hunter though. Um, he doesn't have a ranged spell. He doesn't have a ranged weapon. He does. Oh, I suppose, oh, I suppose he does. He's got dead weight. Yeah. Um, he's very amateur, right? 
because he's got he is uh, very heavy to he's or, got dead weight so he's got, mortality he's, i mean yeah. mortality is a main uh yeah. massive one nothing so he takes pursuits interesting but yeah you can obviously you can take mortality uh and at which point we're looking at uh, a two swing right then the, the then yeah. you, you just whip the beast with your, your beast handlers. That's four. Yep. And then you apply. And, and then you've probably rage. got you've probably got rage as well. Yeah, so that's, that's seven. Six, seven, uh, and then you've probably got more out of minions. Um, so you got well, no, that I mean, rage rage is already from minions, so that's like um, the rest of the animus. You could probably take. Um, you'll probably get dark shroud off something. Um, I I'm don't think sure, you I'm can. A, I'm pretty sure there's like an eight but, or nine. Okay, I, I'll be honest. At seven, I stopped counting. Like, if you need more than seven, <laughs> there's a problem. There's a problem. Yeah, yeah. You, you, sh you should have killed it by then. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I think. Um, Chaos Black has asked, um, "Do we think the Death Archon needs a nerf uh, to open the matter up?" Yeah. I mean, Honestly, I think the answer yeah. is yes, yes, it's yes. Too, of course, yes. It's too much, <laughs> it's too much. right? So when. So the, the Void Archon, the Benite Archon, the Thamorite and the Morrowind were all really strong when they came out. Mm. Um, the Blight Archon, people said, was the, end, was the end of the world, but when it came out, it was actually just good. The Defiled Archon is, is really good. Um, the like, Defiled Archon is very good. It's, it's, very, it's very good, I, but also it's, it's less survivable than any of the other Archons. Um, it is. Uh, well, yeah, it but is. They, but they turned out to be super clutch. In, in getting trolls to, to A tier, for instance. Yeah. Um, the Dunian's also in a weird place that it's never front line. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. it's always they're, they're back full line. On, full on support. It's um, not getting Archon. targeted. But the Death Archon um, is just is just like the, too much. Like the you, Death Archon is just anything, so much. If you just take the card and you don't add anything to it, it's still too much. Yes. Like, so stupid. Yeah, it is so stupid. It's as so, just have that thing charge and hit two heavies, not even three, and look at how much damage it does. Yeah. And tell me how that's okay for a eight point solo with no caster support. Yeah, I think the like come on. I think it needs to there, be there's no justifying it. I think as as it is, I think the and I think an appropriate like shift to it to make it more balanced with everything else would be um, to give it, um, you, you know, its corpse abilities that it can only trigger one of them a turn. So you either have more, um, more fear, or you have I, your flicker, or you have your. I, I, to I don't even. Hit or damage. I, for for me, I j I think it's really simple. Just annihilator has to go. Yeah, let it spend corpses to boost. Uh, yeah, but yeah. don't but don't just have a blanket everything living. Boost yeah, to hit too, boost, too uh, boost damage. I, I was, it's way too much. I, I was going to say, um, shift it so it can only use one of those corpse abilities a turn, and it only gets the one attack, the one the one thrasher. Because two two thrashers yeah. is too much. Or either either have two yeah. attacks or. I, I like the two thrashers, but every attack can't be golden off two yeah, thrashers. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's the thing. So so yeah. spend corpses. Yeah, spend corpses, and then it becomes a lot more. Uh, then it becomes a little closer to ben, reasonable. Ben then it in, then it becomes two. just yeah. as overpowered as the Blight Archon and yeah. the Defiled yeah. Archon and I'm, I'm the with, Void Archon. I'm good with Reach too as well. I don't see like I don't see why it's got the same reach as Supreme Guardian with this like you. Know, I I sort of I on, do on because it's got like no. It, foot long, right? I mean, I do see that it's because it's a melee. It's a melee piece, and it's supposed to be a scary melee piece. So. I, I, I do like the three inch reach thresher. I don't know that he needs to have two, but okay, I fine, so be it. I think I think um, but an yeah. annihilator to me is the real problem. Yeah, annihilator safe, is safe combo, just insane. Yeah, is, is take an annihilator out and just let it be a boost mechanic. Um yeah. even if it's like spend one corpse to boost your attack and damage roll against that one model, I think that's not too much. That's still really strong, but it's not it's not spend one corpse to be boosted yeah. attack and damage roll against it, it, all of them. It's that it, it charges in and hits three living heavies yeah. and it's getting six fully boosted attacks out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what pretty, drives me nuts. Pretty pretty bad. Um, so yeah, yeah. So you, I think that's, that's like a, a quick... Uh, a quick uh, a, a quick aside as to my most my most loathed mini in the yeah. game right now. <laughs> and uh, and uh, to answer Luke, yeah, you, you miss Crix. Unfortunately, we've rated Crix as... 
In fact, Crooks are the only C tier at the moment. They're the only C, yeah. The mighty of all. So I, I'm about, I'm about to make, uh, I'm about to vote for my second C, which is Scorn. All right. Oh, you think, you think the, the similar thing that the Zal, Zal is not enough. I so think Zal has is. seen his, Zal has seen his day. Yeah. Zal, I mean, Zal's all about tanking. I chewed through. I chewed through one and a half Supreme Guardians and half a Zal army on his feet turn. <laughs> you did. Did you? Have yeah. To, did you have to? Did you have to like chew through much Immortals that were in the way first, or was it straight in? I had to chew through a little bit, but it's yeah. not hard to chew through a bit. But it's more about the positioning, right? So if you if you can't if, if yeah. you, say you've got like a just like a little semicircle of of Immortals under the feet just blocking the landing zones for, for your heavies, then that becomes a problem then, right? And you can say, only get like a uh, heavy in, and then you can have the, yeah, the defense. Unless you complete, unless you really tightly bubble wrap, I just yeah. need one or two sprays to clear to, to, uh, to clear a landing spot. Okay. okay. It, it's it's not that, it's not that hard. I'm, I, I'm I think, sure. I don't think, yeah, sure I don't think they're answer enough. Um... Mm, and a and they definitely don't. As well. The hard questions they ask aren't so hard to answer for most of the game. Mm. I know. I know. I don't necessarily want to see them with Grimkin, but I, I've shifted voluntarily to like one of the lower end. <laughs> thing, yeah, Grimkin, who used to be the Apex Predators, yeah. also we'll get to Grimkin yeah, in a second. We'll, like, we'll see them in a minute. Um, <laughs> I think if they are C, if they're not, if they're not, if they're not like end of B, I'd say they're probably ahead of Crix in, in C then. Yeah, I I, I think that's fair. Yeah. Okay, okay, I I can accept it. I think Zal has been I, so I, good I for don't... so long, but yeah, Death Archons really prey on that list, and there's enough yeah, other things they... to do as well. Um... Basically, there's. I mean, what the qu the hard questions they ask are answered too easily by a lot of the meta. Yeah, and they don't do a great job of answering the predators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can, I can, I can accept that, and uh, I think, yeah, I, th I think, yeah, I think you're right. And like the the, the traditional um, Zar list, I think I prefer with a, a mammoth. I think that changes how it deals with some of the things that that can yeah. scare it. Well, I mean, the ma um, the mammoth would, I mean, the mammoth would be uh, played with uh, typically with uh, what's the name Baron Harkon and Rasheth. Uh, well, I've just, I, know, I know some of the uh, some of the Americans uh, have been playing it with with Zal, um, so I think. Uh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. So, so you, rather than having this bloated battle group that don't really do much, just sit back and generate fury. Instead, you've got this humongous gun platform that, if you obviously attack, becomes really threatening because it, it, it gets to, to like really decent speed, um, and basically will just lumber up the middle of the board behind all the. The uh, the immortals doing some some quality shooting. Um, oh, that's interesting. And I think that then could just go well. You just put your your power twenty gun into or whatever it is into a death arc on every turn, right? And you got to be really careful about can you can you protect your death archons to get in there? I mean, it sounds cute. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'd have to see it to respect it. It's, it's I'm, I'm struggling to respect the, it right uh, now. More <laughs> list I found. But yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with C. Well, I'll accept it for now. We'll. Uh, I will move. Move on. We'll move on to Grimkin. Ah, oh, my! An another how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, I think they're C somewhere. Like, um, yeah. Like, am I? I, I want to be wrong. I want them oh, to be at so, least. I mean, two two years I'd ago like they were S tier. <laughs> I'd like them to be A. I I'd I'd be okay if they were B. But I think they're so, C. Um, I'm not even sure they're like at the top of C. Either. Yeah, I, I was happy with them as B tier, but Death Archons have really pushed them back oh, because you can't build a Grimkin grip brick into that. Yeah, like literally. Like, well, well, we we talked about it, right? So so one of my lists, I have to I have to dedicate one of my lists to. Are they bringing a death arc on? Yes. Yeah. I have to drop this list, which is just cockatrices. Exactly. Cockatrices are really good, but it just means I can't uh, take I can't take 
bump in the night. I can't take an infantry list at all. Like there's, there's no answer for me. It's just it just shits all over. No, the, and and the problem is there's also like infernals are a thing. If yeah, I drop Amadamos, really bad. If I drop Amadamos, I'm at least a sixty percent favorite before we've set our models up. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's that's like unfortunately that's that's, that's, that's speaking horrifying. Why you're so far down? And if, if before you've even just just in list selection, if you can go, you're this disadvantaged against yeah. so many lists, which unfortunately, Grimkin are like they're, they're, I, they're really. I don't I don't know what you do into either Bethane. I have no idea what you do in two Bethanes. Kill the caster. <laughs> Bait the fake like, kill the caster. Both. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's it. basically it. Bait it out and uh, go for a caster kill next turn. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, that's that's one of the reasons why I'm playing King is one of my pair. So, because we've got yes. a lot of bad pairings, you can basically try to mitigate your bad, your bad option by just trying yes. to kill him and stuff. So, you say when it's I've all when all I've got no good options stuff it, I've always got an assassination yeah. on the table if someone exactly. doesn't if someone gets careless or doesn't see it coming. Yeah. And it, and it makes me a bit sad. I I but I love Grimkin. That's I, I adore the models. Yeah. I love the arcana me uh, mechanic. It is so cool. Yeah. yeah I really I've really gotten cool. so much joy out of that out of that mechanic. And, and but, as, as an example right, yeah. we've got the slaughterhouse. I've just, I've just oh. this week, and it looks amazing, but it's so lackluster. And then you can. Oh, it's it so the, lackluster! It's just it so upsettingly recent, lackluster. Yeah, and you look at the most recent other huge base <laughs> creatures, and which are and harvest of souls. Like it's yeah. like, oh look, we've stopped people collecting souls for the last three years. <laughs> so let's have a super soul collection that gets us souls again. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like if you if you if you look at. Infernal, colossal horror versus slaughterhouse, and it's just like it's just really sad. Oh, it's so sad. It's the difference between like dying in the Ritz or in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> you know? yeah. But, but I love the model, and I'm glad I've got it. So I'll I'll just leave. We'll leave it to see. It's, where, where it's, a, so, it's so a beautiful it's, model. C is currently looking at scorn at the top of C, and cricks at the bottom mm -hmm. of C. And where a grim a grimkin just in the middle, would you say, or do you think they're ahead um, of the them? Yeah, where do I put them in relation to cricks? I think they're still better off than cricks. I think so, yeah. And I, the only way I do that is I say, if I'm playing grimkin, do I care if I face cricks? And it's like, no, I can actually. I think I'm in a good spot. Yeah. Um, Crick, cricks think, don't have good outs for the ahead. cloud of cloud tech. I think they're ahead of um, Scorn as well, just because they've got better options. I think where they, they can put in that, better variety that's fair. of good things. Yeah, um, I, I think they've got the same problem as uh, Scorn, which is their favorite trick, which is to you know make a brick that's really hard to kill. Yeah, is, is, is just is not just an out option of, out of favor right now. Yeah, there's, there's too much. Yeah, too much to go. There's too um, much. It hits thanks. too hard. Yeah, you're basically giving them a dinner a dinner plate rather than an, than a tank. At this point exactly yeah there's too much it hits way too hard and does it from far away yeah so, so Nor norbert uh on the the uh not not your norbert from london on the chat has said all oh, right he said he wishes into infernals were s tier <laughs> so <laughs> you'll be able to watch this back on twitch and uh i'll upload it to youtube uh, later but yeah i i'm pretty I sure mean, Evan, like, Evan, Evan whether, whether, the whether they're S tier or A tier, I do think is debatable, but it's definitely not a hill I would die on. They're strong enough that you can make a good argument for either one. I'll put, I'll put Legion like, ahead they're, of them. They're definitely I'll, on that I'll, cost. I'll accept the, the end of S tier, the bottom end of S tier. Yeah, no, so, I mean, Legion are... I put Legion just behind Circle right now. Well, about, with about the current about, rankings yeah. we got. Because so we're circle, about to get to two of... Circle and Rats. So, uh, Legion, I would, I, I would put Legion above Ret right now. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. Just because I, Ret's put too much perhaps into the one caster. Sorry, so, I, yeah, I put yeah Legion above so Ret. We've got, yeah. we've got our last two are the, uh, the ev everyone friends. So minions, um, minions yeah, everyone's friends, minions, minions and mercs. Minions. Oh, so minions, uh, mercenaries, mercenaries are first, right in the the war right. war room order. So where do we put mercs? 
So obviously Mercs were, were leaning really heavily on Fiona and then she got nerfed. Then they left yep. really heavily on uh, Aurora 2. And as we said, she didn't get nerfed, but everyone it's still... basically had to So if you look, so you're asking about your pairing for Aurora 2, and I feel like the answer has to be in Mercs. Yeah, I, I, I now, Fi And Fiona is Osram. still really strong. Yeah, I think I think Fiona's really strong. Osram and uh, is definitely really strong as well. Um, it, it's funny. I look at I look at Mercs, and my default is of course they S tier because every ride, every broken ride quest release works for them. Every every Archon works for them. It but does. But you look at a pairing, and you say, well, am I really scared? That scared of their pairing. Yeah, and, and and funny enough, because even though they, they they get everything, they don't get everything in the themes they want them. So if you're taking the regulars yeah. and the super solos, you're not taking any archons at all. Or if you want to take right. soldiers of fortune, you've got death archons, and then you're and, but you don't have the same powerful solo yeah. uh, list. You know, you can't take Gatsby, you can't take Booby Three. Um, so I think even though they've got, I think that they're, they're they're good, but they don't break anything anymore because yeah, they've either learn to deal I, with the the problem things like Fiona and Aurora, uh, or they've just seen the other things that are just strong across the board, but aren't breaking anything. They aren't, um, and and they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're I, I'm curious. And they're answering things, I'm, but they're not they're not busting you open you... And, and forcing you into a position. Yeah. Do you think people have given up on Fiona too quickly? My impression is she got nerfed and people dropped her much too quickly. Yeah, possibly. Uh, we got we got a local player who's just starting on Fiona. <laughs> so, her feet is still her still feet really is good. still a backbreakingly strong um, still denial really feet. <laughs> like yeah, I think the is still. And really she's good. she's still she's still a great toolbox caster. Like I could see, you know, I'm. I could definitely see a Fiona Aurora two pairing being a really strong contender. Yeah, I think I I, I landed on um, Osram, um, Osram in the regulars, and um, and Aurora two uh, as. I mean Ostrom that's also with, really strong. Yeah, Osram with like uh, like three drillers, two bashers. Um, so the, you've got these yeah. this battle group that can go really far on their feet and are real real durable, and then to back them up uh, is like Scythe, Iris, Harlem Holden High, um, Boom <laughs> 3, Dez and Gubbin. Yeah. So you've basically got this this super extreme threat range gun line behind this... this behind this really range. durable, yeah, fast... Oh, and, yeah, and Gat yeah. Gatsby, Gatsby's along there with, for the melee guys. So Gats Gatsby and Boomy... Well, obviously. Gatsby and Boomy back up the, the five heavies. And then, yeah, you've got um, Harlem, Iris, Des and Gubbin, and Scythe, and obviously you've got access to Snipe, you've got access to, um, is it Fire Perfect, the booster attack and damage roll for the, the gun? Uh, what, yeah. What, whatever other gun boost um, that Osra brings, and yeah, I was I, 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 th I thought it was really cool. And in fact, mm -hmm. I bought all of the stuff, except for the, the, the dwarf things, I got... Um, like 3D prints of something different. I don't, don't like the the aesthetic of the Yarn Kingdom's dwarves, so I went for more like more sort of steampunky, war, almost like Warcrafty um, dwarves. Um, in fact, <laughs> have I got yeah. Dwarf Jack to hand. No, I've got some. Um, but yeah, so I think they're real good. Are they uh, S tier? No, I, not at all. No, they don't they crack it. I I definitely think they're A tier. I think um, I think they're probably I'm not sure if they're ahead or behind Crucible Guard. So uh, A tier currently looks like okay, okay, this, this, we're, we're going to shuffle this around right away. I think so. A tier yeah. currently looks like uh, Convergence, Trolls, Menoth, Crucible Guard, Mercs. So I think uh, that Crucible Guard. I definitely put them ahead of Crucible Guard. Yeah, and I think Crucible Guard uh, are probably. Around about where convergence are, so I think it looks. I think it ends up looking more like to me, trolls, menoth, mercs, and then crucible guard and um, convergence. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd, I think I'd probably put Mercs ahead of Crucible uh, of Convergence, just because I think Mercs give... Mercs get you a better off list. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on about putting Convergence at the bottom of A. So the top of A would be Trolls, uh, then Menoth, then Mercs, then Crucible Guard, then uh, Convergence. Just because they, they, they put so much stock at the moment in yeah. the core list and everyone... Everyone and their, their Ev uncle everyone's been everyone's of, been taking for it for two yeah. years, as you say. And anyone yeah. that wants to actually spend the money to buy that many angels and stick them on the table and learn how to do this, which I'm just, obviously you don't see the camera. It'd be basically like, yeah, you, you've got to pick them up and fish them out like a fucking fairground ride. All your heavies and your angels <laughs> from in and amongst themselves, and your objective is a nightmare to play. I put them on the table. Oh god, it was, it was not fun. So, yeah. so, there we go. All there the wings. Go. I'm having I'm having nightmares of the old uh, oh, uh, old Vienna Vienna two yeah, Legion yeah, flying yeah. circus. Yeah, I think I think I think I'm happy that Mercs ends up in just smack bang in the middle of the A tier there, which leaves us with just Winions to to round us off. Winions and Winions. Spicy take. Really I like them for S tier. Oh, one of one of the guys in my club. Uh, in our club chat <laughs> is watching and has been going you best give minions S tier <laughs> and I'm like they're, they're pretty good they might be are they though so so, so talk, they have they, they have a. very similar so very similar benefits to what we were discussing with Mercs yeah. except they don't have the problem of the themes kind of chopping out the riot quest solos they want yeah. so I, I would I would put them right next to trolls because they're basically interchangeable, right? Trolls and if you play trolls and you play minions, you can basically play the same pairing. Half maybe, You can. You know, <laughs> uh, I can. Can you play? Oh, maybe you can't play Cold Grimmer. Can you not play Cold Grimmer with? No, minions? you can't play Cold Grimmer. Oh, okay. uh, so it's very can, specific. But you can play like but... Gunny, Gunny Azello, or Gunny Madrak. <laughs> Or... So I th I think your off list is a lot better in minions. Yeah, Rask is still amazing. I think Arcadius is still a monster. Ar Arcadius oh, is a monster. Arcadius, Arcadius is, a monster. is a genuine monster. Is Jugga a monster Jugga is still that... scary as hell. I was say, Arcadius is a monster that beats Kruger. Yeah. That scares, <laughs> that scares Kruger, and I think that might be enough to put them from the top of A yeah. to the bottom of I... S, maybe. I I would put them bottom of S. I think there's they're that little bit better. They can always just hammer the ride quest button, which is great. <laughs> yes, they fucking can. Yeah, yeah. How many archons would you like in your list? So yeah, like, I, your two juniors, you can either take six, tribals. either take six archons, yeah. or take two, or take two death archons and all the ride quest solos yeah, you can swing a stick of, at. Uh, yeah, fuck rid of things that are gonna kill everything they touch. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they don't do and, and as I mean, as Azello's death archons are freaking terrifying. Holy yeah, crap! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I lost the skin and moans to one. And that <laughs> I was, just, was not that happy. Was just looking at it, didn't, didn't even just, get to combat. Just looked at it and it died. Yeah, I can see that. He, he looked. <laughs> yeah, stationary two. What's the name? Stationary two. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Two cage rages on half life and one shot the freak, uh, one round the freaking um, skin and moans. Like, holy crap, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's silly. It, it's really cool. It's nice to see minion, minions of minions that were like a dark horse faction for so long, and like in Mark Three, they just become like a main faction. Yeah, and I think I think Mercs, well, too. Merc, 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 Mercs, and, Mercs and minions were both yeah, Mercs and minions have both really benefited from the strong solo releases. Yeah, and like the the extra themes and stuff as well. I think yeah, but like at, at the end yeah. of Mark Two, you'd go to like a like a hundred player event and there'd be like a handful of minions and Mercs, and you go now yes. to a, like a sixteen player event, and I expect to see one or two. Three. Yeah, Mer Mercs and Minions are real factions, and you expect to see some representation. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. So that's that's the factions. But I'll do I'll do the quick run now because obviously Evan's not seeing my screen, and I'm actually watching the, the stream as well. Um, I've, so I've actually got, got the what's it called got, up? <laughs> I've so got, got the Twitch stream up. 
in front of me. So we've got S tier. The, the top is Krugers or Orbros. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should be spitting every time we say his name. So it's cir- Circle, Orbros, <laughs> or Kruger 2, and whatever shit he wants to bring with him at the top of the S tier. Um, I swear, it's just bring Kyle 1 just to troll people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most are. Um, Mosa, and, uh, <laughs> and then we're going into Legion, um, propped up by a bit a big strength from Bethane two with um, yeah. Chris, Fianna, Bethane one, and um, yeah, there, there are a lot of options for the, the second the second list. Um, Retribution, yeah. uh, so Falcia way at the top, but then with, with like Helena, um, Assyria, Gorshade, Ron is still going to kill the shit out of people if they're not wet, ready for it. Um, yeah, I mean, Ron, you don't see a lot of Ron, but I mean, he's still Ron. Yeah, I think he's, he's still Ron, yeah. Um, Infernals, uh, at, uh, at the four, and four for the S tier. And yeah, just just so oppressive for a lot of a lot of lists still. And then minions yeah. rounding out the S tier. And, and like the fact that there's so many like that that we think are that good but also like the the um the difference between them though is is like is small so like going from s to yeah. a we've got trolls menoth mercs crucible guard and convergence um b tier is kador and signal which is obviously the, the original factions right and then c grimkin scorn and crix and yeah luke crix crix is the last it, it's really, Krix it's really high. hard seeing Cricks down there, man. It, it, yeah, it's a it dagger is. through my heart, but there it, it is. They've not had many releases. Uh, like obviously, they've got Gatsby Four they can take, but like yeah. apart from Gatsby Four, what's what's the last good thing they've had? No, I mean any releases they've had have been so nervous. Like yeah. while every other faction was getting releases that were really strong. There were just such timid releases, yeah. you know. Terror. I don't know if they were just terrified of Mark II and, and don't they, want to give Crix that, anything good. That, or they're just terrified that you put anything that's slightly above the curve with Scar One, and it's bonkers. Like I think Scar One I mean, is the problem for the for Crix because it makes them so hard to balance. But but I don't even think but, that's true because Scar One. Saying. Like I say, all she's doing is... I, I know it sounds ridiculous. Okay, all she's doing five. is a plus 5 armor and a plus 5 strength. Yeah. And frankly, a plus 5 strength is not all that outrageous nowadays. It's not on its own. But like, you know, plus 5 but strength. Cricks aren't, you've got Cricks aren't doing much else. Plus 7. Gasp before? Yeah. yeah, you can get there. And then... I mean, yeah, this is Cricks. They're, they're, they're known for hitting nine. hard. Got, and got... then plus five armor on Crix, which has fuck all armor anyway. Like you're not going to build a tank list with Crix. Yeah, yeah, you you are. But like, but like, I'm I'm thinking, if you go Scar, you go you feet. You've got Dark Shroud. You've got Hermit, and then you're you're running it in um, Slaughter Fleet. So you're getting gang. Yeah, and it's like. So plus two, but the plus problem, two to your mat, so your your problem weapon, is you're doing it after taking an alpha anyway, nine. because Crix is slow. Yeah, that's I think I think even yeah, because you, you either take stalkers to threat an okay amount, but it's only an okay amount now. It's not so an extreme. Amount, not a lot. Yeah, but and there's a lot of stuff that's going to spray nine. half your stalkers off the table before yeah, they get to attack. That's a good point. Yeah, and that's the thing. So even even with going, I can do a plus nine. Strength plus five armor, uh, and, and making my Jack's weapon masters is still not enough. So you're just not going of, to get much use out of all of those numbers. The numbers sound right. scary on paper. You're just not yeah. going to get much use out of them. Yeah. So yeah, sorry, Crix. And but, but yeah, I, I, I'm, so, I'm with them at the bottom. I'm playing Grimkin. I'm. <laughs> does, that, does that mean I'm like <laughs> a, a fluff player now? I I put Aurora. I should say why. So I was playing Aurora. Playing uh, Aurora, and like I said I had Aurora and uh, um, uh, Aurora on my dwarf list ready for for the sea roll event we went to. Um, I had yeah. To just, had to just complete a couple of more models built to, to get there, but I was like nothing is painted, and and also they kind of share that same negative experience where where people 
see you've got Aurora and they don't want to play you. And I was just like, first, <laughs> I was like, this is the first event I've had in like two years. I'm going to play something that people will at least want to play. <laughs> so I, I got out my nice pretty pink and purple and blue Grimkin and I was like, there we go. And then just to try to assassinate everyone. So, but the thought was there. <laughs> I wanted to and I, I, I've, stayed, I've stayed with being the bad guy. I've taken a break from my infernals and I've moved on to Legion for a while. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm clearly the bad guy. Like, you know, <laughs> right. but the limit of my mercy is I haven't painted up my Kruger 2 toys yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible place to be, right? Where you go, take this. Everyone will hate me. I, but... God damn, I, I've awesome got so games. much. I've got broken shit in three factions to really <laughs> play. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what to do with my convergence. I've got like a huge convergence army, but like I need to strip it. I, I, got, I bought a load of it secondhand. So oh no! A lot of it. And, I hate stripping it, toys. Oh. It's, it's, it's full on like strip and rebuild because some of them are put together like. Please, please tell me those models are at least metal. Uh, yeah, I think most of them are. To be fair. Um, yeah, if, because. Plastic and resin, as long as they haven't like painted thick on, just paint over the damn things. It's not oh, worth no. trying to strip plastic and resin. Yeah, it, 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 is, it is like it's like someone has taken an airfix kit from when I was twelve. Oh and no! Like, yeah, I need. Yeah, I need oh, to these guys need to be. Yeah, you used to describe that as melted crayon for painting. Be Benny, if you if you love stripping models, come come to my house. Let me give you some things, and then you can give them back. Oh no, I, I hate. And, and, and clean. Oh and no, I despise I stripping models. I hate stripping models so bad. Like I would rather pay, like more money. Yeah, I yeah. Can happily be like, yeah, I'll pay an extra like ten percent. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather pay full price than yeah. buy models I have to I, strip. I hate oh it. no, I hate it. But but there we go. So hey, if it's second if it's second hand, I'll at least I'll just want to make sure that it's painted on with thin coats and I can paint straight <laughs> over it. Enough that you can manage. Um, but yeah, so talk about talking about yeah, that. That's my fucking. That's my personal hate. Is yeah, strip of models. Uh, I, I would. I would <laughs> rather play Crix. <laughs> I... <laughs> You're uh, making my Crix sad. I have funny, two I, full I shelves bought, of them staring I at me. I bought a load of Crix. Uh, it was a good deal. This is, this is like this is why I have most factions at some point. It was I found a good deal, so I bought them because if I ever then bought that faction. Know, some crazy game of logic I've, of I'd save money by buying this army that I've never put it on the table. So slowly they get <laughs> sold off. Yeah. So, yeah. What? So what do you think? So, so obviously you're you're feeling pretty uh, good, right? S tier infernals. I mean, I I am. I'm feeling really bad about myself. Why am I not doing better when it's all S tier stuff I'm playing? I beat be with a C tier faction last week. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shame. Too. Shame on you. In, in a matchup that we that we were in perfect agreement was absolutely was stacked shit. against you. Yeah, I also I also beat Retribution as well. In fact, it was a Ran list. But yeah, and in fact, he had Ran Falsier, and I was like, I need to mm -hmm. just fucking put King of Nothing down, wait for the mistake, and then just go all in, <laughs> which is exactly what I did. I, I I do I do like your assassination themed list there. It, it is a lot of fun. It's like it, it okay, is, here's a puzzle. A I've got two, two turns to make it work. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of angles to, to cover to make yourself safe from it as well, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I need to need to, need to finish painting it all. I need to, to get the art on the table. And I've also got some non games work, uh, some non uh, uh, non priority press stuff to paint. But it arrives today. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. pinky purple. You, you need you need to give your what's it called your uh, wanderer list a bit more table time, <laughs> because the wanderer with the wanderer with yeah. um, with uh, it's those bl uh, defiled archons yeah, is archons. just amazingly fun to play. John Henry has come in. John Henry, what do you mm -hmm. know, John? John Henry is saying infernals are not S tier. I think they are. <laughs> So we're just winding down. We've got we've got everything in its spot, and John, be be grateful that you're living in this glorious age where trolls are like the top of the A tier. <laughs> like so, 
So I think we 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 discussed we discussed uh, Infernals being maybe a maybe S. Yeah. So so that was my take. Uh, the big thing was we're giving them a little bit of credit uh, for the um, for the the, the, the harvester the of harvest souls team. coming in and pushing them back up. Yeah, yeah, and we're, we're saying um, that that, that and, potentially um, breaks uh, breaks basically some of the things that that made it feel bad or some of their bigger. Um, yeah, the big weakness that really holds them back right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, John. And, and uh, you've been and, like a troll player forever, but I'm just saying, like you're like in the gold, the golden age of the troll now. It's like <laughs> uh, we, we've got. Um, I mean, it, it's quite sad that the golden age of trolls is A tier and not S. But you know, they've been they've been D tier for so long that <laughs> that's well, they're, fine. They're, they're so close to minions, right? Like that that gap between S and A, I think, is minuscule. Like yeah, which is which is kind of. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the top, like. I, I think yeah, yeah. I think no, no, Legion I mean, I mean, and Circle I mean, the, are the gap, the gap are quite clearly end. ahead of the other yeah, three. I mean, I mean, the gap between the bottom of S and the top of A, I think, is real, real sharp. There's not much to it. Yeah. Like, uh, like if yeah, Trolls agreed. Got, Trolls got like one new release that was particularly tasty. That could be, that could be up. Yeah, you could be like. Yeah, up. agreed. Um. <laughs> Depends who plays trolls too. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> the, the, trolls, trolls always seem to be like uh, one of those factions that, like, uh, brought in its core players who played trolls, and they were troll players for life, you know. And they would, mm -hmm. they they slogged it through shitty releases, and they slogged it through being knocked down, and everyone else in the world getting tough no knockdown while they were dying on the floor. <laughs> And uh, yeah, yeah. They're, now, they're now yeah proper proper scary force. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, but I mean, those were the people who were also you know playing playing Mulg and a Mountain King with Ragnar and and you know die hard like we tank, we are trolls at tank, and it doesn't matter that we're facing things with plus seven damage swings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to look at like the end the end of Mark. Two, start Mark Three. This this was very different. Very different. Very different. <laughs> like everything in C was potentially an S tier. Um, I mean, we you know, old Sc yeah, old Scorn there was probably S tier. This was kind of the heyday of Zal. Crix was you know okay, just before the uh, before the switchover of the editions. Yeah, Crix was definitely S tier. Yeah. Uh, were Grimkin released in second or third ed? I think um, it was third. I think the third, yeah. And they were one of the early CIDs and C I D I think C I D was only third ed. Yeah, and, and but they But they, I mean C I D were dominating for a while. Yeah, and, and Grimkin rode really like the top of the matter for, for a good while. I remember I Yeah. Remember, I remember them being um I remember being at the first WTC where they'd just been released and um, like Pat Dunford was playing them. And there was like yeah, a scattering Pat Pot was of... Pat Pot terrorized the world with yeah, those yeah, for a did, while. Yeah, absolutely, and and then there was a scattering of players and other teams that had them as well. Uh, and even though they had a, like a limited number of models available, so they didn't have the full range available. Still, like like we looked at it, and and the the Welsh team back then was was a lot more like relaxed, a lot more sort of booze and and friendly fun play. But we looked at it and, and none of us knew how to deal with Grimkin. And then we looked at the table yeah. behind us and no one from that team knew how to play against the Grimkin that they were facing. Yeah, it was it was a wild time and, and it lasted for a for a good while with Grimkin until they started to to uh to slow off. John thinks and you look at... is uh, circle rep Sorry? Uh, tr uh John Henry's just uh Giving giving his uh, yeah. his, his quick uh, fast and dirty tier list. So circle, yeah, circle ret and minions in uh, S tier, uh, mm -hmm. of which we've got obviously three of them. Um, A tier trolls legion mercs crucible guards menoth B. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah I I'm absolutely gonna fight with him on the on legion not being S tier <laughs> just on the back of at Beth two alone and Beth one is also 
Bonkers his, strong. His B tier is convergence. Well, convergence we got like at the bottom of A, so I could. I could yeah. I could, I could okay, fine. That's close enough. Um, and then infernals, signal, and scorn. Uh, C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> who, who, who's playing? John, John you're West, West. I mean, when, when if I'm playing, if I'm playing infernals, maybe. But like, if someone who actually knows what they're doing, like Thomas wanna... Mutcher's playing infernals, like you've got to be out of your mind you... putting in that log. Like... John, John Henry, you you West, you West Coast Canada? Is that right? West Coast Canada. Am I making that? Up? Where, wherever he is, weed I, is I apparently wanna, legal. I want to <laughs> yeah, play those those infernal players. But then, that's the thing, though. In, infernals player wise, right? So let's do this quick. Who who is playing Infernals in the UK? Do you think? So obviously you've got you. Um, I know. So that I am. Dan Bear up has just um, bought them. He just bought Steph's uh, old Infernals. Okay. So um, he bought Steph's old ones. Yeah. So losing Steph is a big deal because Steph was obviously an incredibly good Infernals player. Yeah. Um, and that means Dean that means Booth Dan, is a really. That means that Dean Dan's Booth is a really new, strong um, Infernal Dini player. Morris as well. So he's got the. Um, He's got one, at least one of each horror of the the gargantuans. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So, I've like, I've placed my order. It's it's waiting in the post, so I'm not sure when it will arrive. We had we had an Infernals play on the Welsh team, but he he was not enjoying them, and I think a lot of it was yeah. because he wasn't enjoying other people playing. With them. So um, so Dean is a really good player. He's a better player than I am. Um, but he's, I think he's gone back to Legion just because Legion's got such a fun time in the sun right now. Yeah. And and the one big weakness of Infernals is that there isn't a lot of variety in this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, you've got your lists. Your two lists look very, very similar, right? Your, your two li they're always going to be very similar because the basic strength is off the summoning and and all of the, uh, what's the name, essence, of, essence economy. Yeah. So you're not going to see a whole lot of variety, and unless they do something to uh, fix some of the lights and the soul snake, you're not going to see a lot of variety in what you summon yeah, either. Yeah, a, a little bit like so. um, Grimkin, with you know you, you've got such a limited pool of heavies, and why why would you take anything that's a clock at the moment? Mm. Uh, thanks, thanks. I, I uh, mean Byron for the yeah. stars, buddy. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah. But but I mean, there's scope, and you can't summon them, and you can't like act on the fly and go, "This will, this will do for this matchup." You've just got to live and live and bear it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's scope for a new Infernal Master, maybe something that comes out with the Orgoth release to kind of say this is combating the Orgoth invasion. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, I'm super interested to see this. So I don't know if you've read the the Insider that Matt put out and about like you know, they, they've got stuff, but here's like a little a little glimpse that's all they're letting out at the moment and yeah i've seen the glimpsy stuff yeah. um, i'm curious to see what they do I'm, like I'm you know they they're going it. to bring they're going to bring us like bad gobots or something but yeah, that should I be interesting thought, like i was expecting almost like viking -y sort of raiders like have you seen um, the um have you seen the film pathfinder it's like got these. It's like, a, it's like a Native American sort of tribes, and but then there's full on like Viking invaders who look like chaos warriors essentially. Uh, okay. You know, full on like huge <laughs> doom like things clomping across the, the landscape with, with spikes and skulls everywhere. And I was kind of like half expecting right. that from the from the, the snippets of lore we've had, but now it seems like it would be a little bit more like. Um, Essentially, in tip of the hat to Warcaster, where they've got like these almost roboty rakes and stuff like that. Um, well, the, so these roboty cool. animals so yeah. it's, was what I got out of that, and that's yes, yeah. that's going to be that could be interesting, like mech bear cat thing, whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting to see how the aesthetic looks if it fits and stuff. But, but anyway. yeah, the aesthetic could be interesting. I, I'm I'm curious to see if they use that as an excuse to throw in, because it was always a little shy. Like I almost didn't start Infernals because they only had three, uh, yeah, three, three masters. Yeah, masters yeah. I would have liked them to go the Grimkin route where you at least have five to play with. I suppose they had three, but then they've got this open-ended hero. Hearts of your Darkness. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I get it. I, get it. I, I mean, I really don't care too much about the Heart of Darkness. Like, if I wanted to play that faction, I'd play, play that, that faction. faction. Yeah. yeah. I can see it. Right, well, we've had a good old, All good. Good old chops. We've had uh, some, some good interaction from the, the chat telling us uh, where we're right or wrong and lamenting or rejoicing in where their faction has ended up. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm that... upset I can't see the chat. I actually logged onto the stream, but I can't uh, see the chat, and I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, so uh, I'll send you some stuff uh, so you can have a little bit of a better look next time. But basically, it's split between uh, Facebook and Twitch. Um, so some, oh, some, some okay. So I've Twitch. just got the Twitch chat. Okay, was that on Facebook? Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I've got like the whole the whole shebang on my my spare screen. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll I'll compress this uh, the video and get it uploaded possibly tonight. It would depend. Uh, my my day is gone not to plan. My my wife's in the hospital today, so uh, I will see how yeah, I hope she, with hope she's with getting kids better and puppies on my own in the house. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll get it <laughs> uploaded onto YouTube as soon as I can. It'll be a, like a better better quality for, for everything. And uh, thanks for joining us if you have. Thanks for supporting us if you've liked. The stream if you come and chat into it it's really good that's, that's how you feed like the social media algorithm gods is interacting with this how, how, how you feed the beast yeah, yeah. basically yeah uh, i'm all too aware of the, the, the price you must pay <laughs> so uh, so cool <laughs> so, so thanks very much and yeah you can uh, you check it out on twitch facebook youtube and you know, if you want uh, we'll be setting up like a uh, hopefully when my kids go back to school next week, I'll finish setting up the Discord server. I'll just get want to open it up for people to arrange games on War Table or, or Chinwag and Dojo stuff like that. I'm trying to get a bit of a community going to help me get games, and I'm gonna hopefully do a trial run. If 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 uh, if all is well in the house, uh, I'll do a trial run of uh, actual live games at mine, uh, like real real. Real games, not just War Table, which we call. I've got like a, a, new, <laughs> a bit of a new setup for the my kitchen, some kitchen machine to go on. I've got a big kitchen, like a good farmhouse table, and a big. Uh, uh, do you do you have like do you have like a tripod camera setup? I do have. I, I have a tripod that I got given on Monday, so I now have oh, a nice. tripod to, to stick up, and I've got like a just a huge beam light that goes the entire length of the, um, the kitchen, so the lighting's cracking in there already. So. <laughs> all set to go hopefully but i think it'll be a record and upload i'm not sure um my connection speed will manage my yeah life, such as the price of living I, I in, mean, the in the countryside <laughs> i know everyone likes live but i gotta say a bit of editing to kind of keep a, you know keep some of the yeah. dead air out is actually yeah, usually not, better not too bad yeah that's the other thing is i need to have a little play around with things like da vinci's like the editor program i've got so I will play that. But yeah, thanks everyone though for joining me. So we've had a good old night. Absolute we've, pleasure. We've just like uh, come up to two and a half hours of War Machine toss. But it was War Machine really waffle. Yeah, Great I, stuff. I, I, love, I love chatting about the game. I think it's still in a really, really good position. And don't, don't listen to the negativity online. The game is fantastic. Yeah. It's definitely far from there. It's very. <laughs> I mean, just one thought on that. Like, it's really easy to get negative when you talk about the stuff you don't like yes. because there, there is stuff. As soon as you start playing it on the table, you remember, oh, this is why I can forget yeah, about yeah, that. I, this I'm is just such a great game. Either my mates or these, or these complete strangers that will, I'll probably become friends with and see like multiple times a year. And yeah, it's, it's the whole shebang, right? And, yeah. And no matter what game you pick up, you'll always have that, oh, this is the new thing. It's broken. It, it smashes my faction. Ah, it's shit. But <laughs> that's just games, right? You, you find, but the difference yeah. in the War Machine community is you look at it and rather than spending a year complaining about it till it gets nerfed you figure out how to fuck it up <laughs> hence like you know yeah and it, like you're like people have worked out how to shit on Aurora too yeah, yeah you, you bring you bring you change how you play and you bring these extra tools I think that's what makes War Machine more tactical and strategic in my mind than a lot of the other games that I see played at like my yeah. club or that I play I've played a bit of, bit of Games Workshop stuff. I've got some things on the side to start painting for some Sunesh, which, are, which again, a bad, a bad, bad game. <laughs> bad <laughs> rules, pretty models. Man, I'm such a sucker for bad, for pretty models these days. Ah, oh, I am. 
I, it's, I, I must say, I got bitten about a couple times too much, both in Legion, yeah. of buying like really big, really expensive models that just feel like shit when you put them on the table. <laughs> Lilith 3 and the Archangel in particular. That's one of the reasons I'm so happy with the Archangel now, is it's Good. finally fun to put on the table. Good spot to be in, yeah. Um, so go, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up and we're gonna, I'm going to go and uh, check my puppies are sleeping. Great stuff. I'm going to wake them up and take them for a toilet break so I can uh, have a nice British cup of tea. Chill out and get an update for you. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Thanks for supporting us in any way you do. And uh, what day are we on? It's Friday. So Today's I'll Friday. I'll try and upload some games onto YouTube as well over the weekend. And then... Uh, Come Tuesday, hopefully. Tuesday, my kids will all be at school or nursery, so I'll just spend a day <laughs> painting on stream like a boss. <laughs> so cracking. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll catch Very you later. Very cool. All right, good night. Great stuff. Cheers, buddy. Ciao.